<laughs> Welcome aboard the Ultra Bacta Pad, and of course you start talking when I start talking, Poppy. Um, excuse you. Anyway, ignoring him. <laughs> uh, we're back with Night Reverse 1999. I'm very excited to continue with the main story. That's what we're gonna do. We have one chapter left. And let's knock that out of the way before version 1.3 drops. Which I think that's on the 18th. I know there's a web event going on now, but we're not doing that. We're gonna finish off the story with El Doro de los Tigres. Well, pronunciation. <laughs> what is that? Oh, does that only have three fingers? Ooh, it looks like a snake. But the main point is that we're playing chess. I love chess. Chess is great. I love strategy. So we're gonna be facing off against the big egghead lady, whatever her name was. <laughs> I don't remember. The villain of Act 3. Because that's right, at the end of Act 3, um, some tragedy happened. And... And, and, uh, and, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. I do, but I can't formulate word. Let's just go into it. Let's get an old umbrella, because that's going to protect us from the storm. And speaking of the storm, there is a storm outside the octopod right now. So it's very fitting. Oh, no rewards. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where's my rewards, bitch? It's fine. The reward itself is playing chess. Ooh, chess. That's not chess. Oh, yes, it is. That's the board on the floor. A old umbrella. Part one. <laughs> oh, Drufus, hello! Uh, did you survive the storm, I presume? Oh, well, you must have. Burden. Oh, we're in the, the doodad, the, the doobie. What's it called? The briefcase. <laughs> Through the window, she seems she sees a beam of light penetrates the statue suspended in time. Hmm, which statue? This one? Hmm. I saw burden by the storm. Yeah, you did. Oh, did you witness the flashback? Is that what that was? Cause chapter three was like a whole flashback. No. Okay, no, you did, and you didn't see it. It's just a nightmare. Uh, no, it's not just a nightmare. It happened. All the sad things that did happen. The slender figure gets up. <laughs> it makes it sound like she's Slender Man. <laughs> Got his suit on, big tentacle. Mm. The lobby is as spacious as it used to be, but she's the one only be walking across it now. <laughs> I can't read. A nightmare overly real. Yes. God, it was a real nightmare. Is it because I haven't seen them for so long? Uh, where did- Oh, they're in the Institute or whatever. The Foundation because of- Is it something? <laughs> Rarely this place would be in such scenarity. Oh, scrapbook. Let's open it! Oh, nice hand! Who's that? Burton... ...was the first to leave. To leave she what? She said she was going to talk to Madame Z about which department we would belong to. Oh! I haven't heard from her since then. You gotta go yeah. save them! Here are their background reports I wrote for your perusal. Oh, nice bunny! <laughs> Looks like the then Nesquig bunny who mixed with Mickey Mouse. Her boredom was swept away by the invitation. She departed in such a haste that her beloved doll was left behind on the carpet. Oh no, well, you put it on the shelf! A well-educated lady born in a traditional Arcanist family. She comes from an extremely privileged background. Her family had a special influence around the world. Yeah, she made potions! She has limited social And made, the, what's his face, knowledge. Frank? Who crashed the car was Frank his name? The driver? Or was it Jason? I don't remember. <laughs> Mr. Apple was apparently not very happy to be invited. When he left, he turned a little green. Oh no, he became Mr. Granny Apple. Smith! Under his modest and gentle appearance, 
lies a sharp perception by nature. Yes, he's so perceptive. He's such a good person. He always has his own views of our historical intelligence. He's so smart. We love Mr. Apple in this house, and if anyone says otherwise, they can get out. Involuntary affiliations with the Foundation. While Regulus has never been truly accepted by the Foundation, she has missed out all the education and training a member of the Foundation should have received. The influence left by the outside world on her is like a banner among the ordinary staff in the Foundation. A banner way too salient. Alient? Once the banner was held up, new arguments were raised, and thus exacerbated the factional conflict inside the Foundation. Oh. Uh-oh. We don't like conflict! Factional conflict? There ought to be no factions in the Foundation. All of us share one common goal. Of creating the storm and burning down the universe? But the conflict has been there all the time. Conflict between human and the arcanist? And it only grows. Oh, it's like a, like a fungus. Yeah, push up your glasses. The group that believes in mankind's supremacy is splitting the Foundation's belief apart. So, time isn't the only thing you've been observing this year. Nope! The conflicts cannot be covered by regulations anymore, Madam Z. The storm has been here for eight years. Eight Not years? The people who are left behind can shake off the influence it brought. Damn. Human technologies are being reversed, while Arcanum is blooming. The unexpected first storm brought more than half of the Foundation's elite members away from us. The number of staff of the House of Integratus and the committee cannot compare with that of their heyday, even now. So you lost some elite members because they got erased. In order to contend against man's vindicte, we have kept absorbing Arcanus from the outside world. However, the dissenting voices have only grown louder. Why are they screaming for help? Loud enough to be heard, and have become a faction that couldn't be shaken. The Mankind Caucus. I read that as cactus. Um... Beyond their control. These new Arcanists only brought fear. They demand an unchallengeable power to make decisions, and a harsher control of Arcanists. <laughs> what? Oh. Z, what? I don't want my friends or me to be the sacrifice of this conflict, as we were four years ago. Oh, and then those children got annihilated? Wait, let me reread something. I think I missed something. Uh... <laughs> In order to contend against Manus Vindicte, we've been absorbing our canes from around the world. However, the dissenting voices get louder. Loud enough to be heard and have become a faction that couldn't be shaken. The the caucus. Okay, so the arcanes that got absorbed and are screaming are the cactuses. And beyond their control, these new arcanists only brought fear. Okay, they, everyone's afraid of the cactuses. They demand an unchallengeable power to make decisions and a harsher control of arcanists. They're trying to take over? I don't know. <laughs> Say it in b baby terms for That's me, why please. You handed in the background reports of those arcanists as the evidence for your proposition in the negotiation. Exactly. We're so smart. What do you want? Um, the storms to end, the truth? A neutral, safe, and legitimate place for us. Ooh. I'm also on the side of Mankind Caucus. Well, then you'll have to die! Oops! I don't know whose side you're on, but I believe the future you pursue doesn't end up with a foundation being split apart by factional conflict. Hmm, she's kind of like caught in the middle then. <sighs> That's what I learned from that stormy night. Your eyes told me. You didn't belong to that chess game. <gasps> the chess game! <gasps> well, what if I do want to belong to the chess game? What if I want to play it, but then win? You may leave the reports. I need some time. Oh, you get a copy of the report so you can't shred them just in case you turn out to be evil. No matter what your decision is. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome! <laughs> I also didn't check my audio. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> oh no, she's flipping the flies. I'm checking something. No! Please put me through delegate mark. Well, it's a delegate mark. <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, we're in the trippy hallway. 
The long hallway is located between the committee and the House of Integratus, forming a bridge between the two loci of power. Okay, so like like the Senate and the Congress. Familiar and unfamiliar ones bustle around in the hallway, holding possible proposals, possible proposals, proposals, proposals. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that have only had a one in ten chance of passing. Hey, Burton. Hey, medical staff, I... Hello. What do you want? Your friend is waiting for you in the rehab center. Which one? Mesma Jr., remember? Oh, yeah. What? Let us take you there. So you guys can catch up. Oh, why do you sound uh, suspicious? Medical staff number two. No, I don't think you want to go there. I don't trust Mesma Jr. <laughs> she, like, has the technology. Ooh, it's dark. A lovely stamp wet dude. <laughs> Dear Z, blah, 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 cats. Wow, like the musical? The Outsider. Ooh, it's a game of chess. Oh, well, that's a house of cards. That's a good BTS song. Anyway. <laughs> the Outsider. Miss Druvis, we are waiting for your response. Why are you so quiet, my dude? Speak up, Foundation, bitch! Now, I am the last to be invited. Hmm, you're gonna have a decision to make! Is there anything else that concerns you, Miss Druvis? Yeah, the scandal's going on. When will my friends come back? <gasps> Is she gonna, like, go save them? They are waiting for you outside the No! Center. Just as we are. No, I don't trust Foundation All staff, man. It looks like he's got a paper fan glued to his face. face. And if you can't see his eyes, then you can't be trusted. Mm, yeah. A moment. She's like gonna get a shotgun and like shoot him in the face. No, he w she would never do that. There's no time to feel attached to the past. We have the future to save. Which is also the past, but the future, the future to past. She looks at the brown granules in her palm. These are seeds of trees. Why does she have seeds? Where did she get those from? Oh god! There's growing seeds! As she wags the fingers. The fingers, not her fingers. It's just fingers she's found and she's waggling them. The seeds are sprinkled on the ground by the stairs. They quickly roll and disappear in the gaps and crevices. Oh, she's planting like like bugs so they can record the conversations of what's happening. They're like gonna film it and like make a cool video montage to prove that these people are evil. I don't actually know what her powers do. Oh, hello, egg face bitch! Her friends are not here, of course. Oh, I knew that! May I ask... where we are? Hmm. Hmm, what's this painting in the background? It looks like a nice checkered floor, like a chessboard, and oh, who is that? Is that Mozart and Benjamin Franklin? I don't know. The library. This is not a library, I see no book. Guards. Trust always no. facilitates cooperation. Don't you think? Uh, whatever you say, I'm gonna say the opposite because I don't trust you. And damn, her thumbnail's really big. It's like my thumbnails if I had any. Like, I, I would keep the thumbnails longer than all the other fingers because the thumbs don't get in the way and the thumbs are always pain to clip because name. it's just so crunchy when you press down on it with the clippers. What? <laughs> oh yeah, tell me her name, I forgot. The name is Constantine. Oh, Constantine. I'm, I'm still gonna call you Egghead. The foundation. Even her earrings are the shape of egg. Please allow me to extend a welcome on behalf no. of the No, 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 trust there. She taps the her pen on the table and calls out a thin pile of documents. The, do the signatures are left blank on the paper. What? Did she just spawn paper? We have sent this document into that suitcase days ago. 
I should assume that you have read it. <laughs> like, yeah, I read it and I don't want to sign it, bitch. What's your conclusion then, Ms. Weyerhauser? Are you referring to inviting Sotheby, Mr. Apple and me, to join the Foundation? We need to discuss this with Britain before we give you a proper response. Exactly! And the fact she's not letting you see her! Um, that's a cause of big concern! We don't know much about the Foundation. As far as I'm concerned, I do not yet intend to join any organization. Yeah, tell her. And if Mr. Apple is not wanting to join, then we should all follow his lead. He's smart. Hmm. That is to say, you are inclined to turn down my proposal. Yes. <sighs> my apologies. Verton has not only been of great help to us, but also saved us from the storm. I cannot accept the invitation without her opinion. Neither can I make decisions for others. That's right! Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Go play chess in your office. Feck off. <laughs> well, now we're in the library. Constantine gets up on her feet and walks to the other side of the table. Ugh, how dare she have feet. There stands an unfinished card tower. Me in the seventh grade building a house of cards? You, oh! Who accidentally and rather luckily escaped from the storm in 1929 and now seek refuge from the foundation. Weyerhauser, Sotheby, and Apple, you are the spire of the tower. Is that good? <laughs> Between you and the foundation, the stories in the middle are our investigators who go out to rescue the wandering arcanists and humans. No, don't Virgin take it. Don't take it. Oh, you just them. pulled that card through the other cards. A drop in the ocean. Oh, you're saying we're disposable. <sighs> I'm gonna kill you, Egghead. Virgin indeed, is the key to connect you and the Foundation. But let's not forget, only an entity as massive and powerful as the Foundation can provide you with long-lasting protection. No! Without the Foundation's supplies, manpower and technology even virgin can barely sail against the great tides of history let alone the ordinary people whose fate is doomed to struggle in the endless hazards of time well we're gonna punch you in the face open your eyes and take a look no don't look in her eyes she's got like evil we eyes in there are the unshakable fortress you should rely on oh, i like that the the symbols were cut out in the cards they're just making it see through do you still wish to talk to Verton first? Yes. <laughs> like, you didn't learn a thing from when we were talking. Absolutely. My god, your head is so angular. Slap her with your plants. She's receiving a treatment from us. Oh, oh, that's right, the treatment. And then we went inside her brain and saw the flashback. Which means she won't make it back by your side before any decision is made. Well, push her over. No. <sighs> well, then I'll wait until she wakes up. Her suitcase will also be retrieved uh -uh. for research purposes after the meeting. Uh-uh, you will not put your dirty little your fingers on there. You Get your yolk juices all over it. No, 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 that room is decent enough. Miss Z will show you around the headquarters I'm Underlined, tomorrow. I mean, she's important. Go walk around and meet some people. Perhaps it will help you see what the most beneficial choice to all of us would be. Uh, to not join. <laughs> Where is Mr. Apple? I, is he okay? Where'd he go? And all the others. <laughs> but. No, stop talking to me. Don't keep me waiting for too long. Oh, well, fuck you. You're getting an answer when I feel like it. To be continued. Damn. The car rack. Oh. Ooh. I love coat racks, like the old fashioned ones. Ooh, what's this building? Yes. It probably said it up here, but I wasn't looking. I was looking at the chair behind her. <laughs> well done. Thanks. What'd I do? Chicago report. I did it. So smart. 
The envelope leaves her and flies out the window. Why are the papers consciousness? Be active. What? Madam Z quickly walks through the crowd and stops at the door in the hallway. This? Is this the door? It's very long. Aside from the vibrant secreta secretary area, the hallway, entire hallway is bathed in serene vibe. Mm, I love the vibes of this hallway. Like the sun's coming up, it's that nice baby blue. This is the door to her own office. Oh, that's a long door. Ah, oh, why are you in Madam Z's office? Get out! You're always everywhere. You probably have like clones of yourself that walk around the facility monitoring everything. That's why your head is so angular. So you can keep all the knowledge in there. I would be freaked out too if I saw this thing sitting in my office. Did I startle you? Yes, obviously by her like together, <gasps> I didn't expect you to be as surprised as Miss Warehouser was. Hmm. Sharon didn't tell me you were here. Who's Sharon? There's no Sharon Osborne. I told Legendary you Arcanist. I have talked to Miss Warehouser. Everything is going well. No, it's not. You're lying. <laughs> Almost knocked something over. She's gotten quite a shock. That little pale face. Like a stressed cat. Wow, don't be mean She's to her. She's in dire need of comfort from a friend. Yeah, a friend named Verton who you won't let her go see. What do you want me to do? To do what a good tamer would do. Reach her with a sincere, friendly gesture. Ease their pains, answer their questions, and lead them on to the right path. Mm, the right path that you think is right. Of course. Most importantly, make them be of use to us. Oh, well, so you're just uh, coming out and saying, hey, I'm an evil overlord. Make them do what I want. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Constantine feels pleased with that response. Madam Z is probably just going along with Constantine until the end where she twists the betrayal and stabs Constantine with a knife and boils her. None of them has signed the agreement. Well, yeah. <laughs> but this recruitment is essential for us. No. For the short you can't term have it. and for the long run. You can't have the report. Can you see what I am doing? No, I don't want to see. They like, still have a nice big bottle there. Go grab that and like break it on their egghead. <laughs> Madam Z listens with her head bowed. No, hang your head up proud. Constantine smiles. Oh, and there's one more thing. What? What do you want? You always want things. Do it yourself. I'm not here to wipe your butt. Don't address her as Miss Weyerhauser. She doesn't like it. Well, you kept addressing her as that. I'll take note on that. She stares at her until that thim, that slim, tall figure goes through the door and disappears in the distant light. The light of the serene vibes of the hallway. Oh, that's a nice bed. Five and two thirds portions of silver wine. Twenty drops. Oh, you're making your potions. We're gonna blow this building up. Gold from Ukayali. Oh yeah, the Ukayali. <laughs> so they'll be rest her head on the table, stirring the semi-solid liquid in the tube. Um, it's like chunky milk. She contemplates for a bit and takes out two more test tubes with a bright colored materials from under un, from what from, 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 from un, why she got test tubes under her dress what's wrong with her <laughs> okay you do you if that's what you want oh you're having a great time last ingredient the burning acid salt Oh, can't forget those. That's important. The bee's incredible shape-shifting potion will be done at any minute. What are you gonna shape-shift into? <gasps> what if she shape-shifts into Godzilla to break it through the walls and burn down this foundation? <sighs> that was steam. Close enough. We'll work on the pyrotechnics later. 
the burning acid salts fall into the bowl and out of the bowl raises a strange smell. Hmm, what's it smell like? Sulfur? You made a stinky! Potion has turned pink. Oh, oh no, th we don't like pink here. Blimey! Blimey! It reacted with the potion! Oh no! Chemical reaction! That's gonna be important for when we have to like burn what down the doors. We can pour your potion on the on the iron me. doors and they'll what turn so pink. She jumps up with an annoyance and starts taking circles in the room. What? She's just walking in circles? Time is against me. Dinner will be served at any minute. I have to make up my mind now. Are you gonna splash the waiter with your potion to make him turn into like a, a pebble? She is quickly counting the ingredients hidden under her dress. 24, 23, 24, 106. Oh, you skipped a few numbers there. Um, How big is your poofy dress? Well, I guess it is pretty big, but how big are them vials? Not far away from the room, footsteps came closer and closer to her closed door. Oh no! Miss Sotheby, dinner's ready. Oh, thanks, guard one. It makes it really sound like I have free will here. <laughs> We're not decent in here! Oh, I don't have enough ingredients for another potion. What can I do? Um, uh, take his blood. Separate the mi minerals from the blood. This could be the last chance to make it out. <laughs> yes, break out. Miss Sotheby? What? You need help? No! <laughs> yeah, can you open the door and drink this potion? That might kill you. Uh, I am putting on stockings. This is ladies dressing time, so don't you come in. Just a minute! Nobody gets to see you a bare leg here! The tube is radiating heat in her palm! God, it's uh, gonna explode! It's alright. I'll be fine. I may look a bit different from expected, but it doesn't matter. What? <laughs> Three, two, one... Are you drinking it? She inhales deeply and finishes the potion one go! Girl, what if that kills you? The unperfect potion flows through her throat, reeking of the smell of timber in her esophagus. God. <laughs> she feels something is tickling her in the hair, and her head seems to lose its weight. Oh my, her nails become fluffy like cotton, stretching out in all directions. What is she turning into, a possum? There seems to be a sun hatching in her larynx. God. <laughs> I hope it's fine. Hanging over the rest of her body. This is a feeling too distinct to be overlooked. I read that as overcooked. Like the, the sun hatching is like burning a hole in her throat. <sighs> oh, you're a cold rag. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shh, 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 don't give away your position. Shh. But I made it, didn't I? Yeah, you look so good. Let me see. Um, what am I? Now? You're, you're a little coat rack. A coat rack? What, is that what you wanted? Impossible. I was expecting a movable tennis ball. Oh, well, you didn't put enough ball into that. Miss Sotheby? What? Fake off! I'm at a coat rack now. You don't want to come in. Please excuse me, but I have to open the door. No, you don't. <gasps> Just, shh, shh. Be quiet. Don't move. Creak. Door opens. This is like a horror game now. It's like if you move, Miss you will Sotheby? die. And he's gonna leave and leave the door open, and then she could just walk out or hop out because she doesn't have legs no more. The guard freezes with the dinner plate, looking up and down in bewilderment. He's never seen a coat rack before. This there's truly no one in the room, nor any places for anyone to hide. Not even in the closet or in the wardrobe or on the ceiling. Huh? What? What's wrong? What do you see? <sighs> Shush, 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 This coat rack. 
Was it here before? Yes, it definitely was. And it, the wood definitely matches the decor of the other wooden objects in the room. So don't look at it. He doesn't like the way it stands there. What? It's not like it's a mannequin to judge you. He turns his face around to the desk. Ah, oh, that's much better. I love desks. He certainly can't miss the muddy semi-finished potion in the bowl. Oh yeah, you should drink it too, bro. He cautiously dips a gloved finger into the suspicious mud and takes a whiff. Oh, it smells like blood. She must still be in the room. No. Yes, indeed. Suffering she is. <laughs> why, why does that sound like Yoda? Mm, yes, indeed. Suffering she is. <laughs> Don't cough, don't cough, don't cough! Yoda's here to protect you! Itchy, incredibly itchy. Itchy she is! Her throat feels as if it become a lump of soil. Ew! Where water and weeds... Where water weeds grow vigorously. I don't- I didn't know water had weeds in it. <laughs> That's the secret component. H2O, the H is actually a W, and that W stands for weeds. <laughs> no, 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 you give away your position. Shush. Stop, stop it. No, he's gonna hear you. <laughs> My god. What? Miss what? What's wrong? <laughs> She's practicing. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Oh yeah, you'll get away! <laughs> it's like the one Mickey Mouse thing where the things come to life and they start jumping. She grips her hat. How? Jumping like a standing twig towards the open door. Make a break for it, you can do it! What a strenuous move. What a painful pace. She can't help missing the days where she could walk with two legs. It was just two seconds ago. But the guard seizes her by the pole. No, get your grubby man hands away from her. Miss Sotheby, you are not allowed to leave the room without permission. Well, do I have your permission? Please forgive me for being violent. Oh, well, I don't shake your fist. You're gonna punch me. Uh, it's the iron bowl's fault. Oh, because of the iron reacting. This is false imprisonment. I must get out of here today. Yeah, you can do it. Uh, well, the hitmen aren't here. Unless they are. Maybe you should can formulate them in the bowl. Oh, well. Mmm, star and plant. Um, well, sorry, ladies. You need to go. Mmm, uh, bull. <laughs> and I can put a plant lady. Be prepared. No, you. Uh, you can have that, and then you can have this. I've leveled up some things. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Do you want the hopscotch or that? Mm -hmm. Which one's better? They're about the same. Mental? Do you do mental? A reality. I could easily look. Mental, you do do mental. I was right. So you can have that for now. It's probably not the best one for you, but whatever. I don't have that many things. Why are these guys' eyes blacked out? It's like beady, black beans staring into your soul. I don't like you. Oh, I can't agree more. <laughs> oh, sorry. I need to pay attention to their typings. I keep forgetting. I'm just like unga boonga. Or say all colors. Oh, th th I didn't see the pole standing right there. <laughs> Thanks for the assist, Paul. <laughs> it's like the episode of SpongeBob where they first meet Pearl, and SpongeBob's like, "Hello, Paul," and starts hugging the pole, the, uh, the supporting beam of the Krusty Krab. <laughs> Wait, what? I think I'm way overpowered. Up, up, I just two rounds! Silly me, it's dinky. Mmm, how about you perish, you perish, and that merges, and you can perish as well. Goodbye. Yeah, get confused, you dummies. The eagle's eyes. Oh, I didn't realize Sotheby was a plant person. 
<laughs> but now she's a pole person. Why are you f Okay. <laughs> Attack me with a flashlight only to get blinded himself. <laughs> yes. That was the most pathetic sneeze I've ever heard. The potion Sotheby smashes onto the floor has taken effect. The guard is deeply troubled by the sneezes one after another. Great, we're tickling his nostrils. What's in there, Pepper? <laughs> you oh my, you're a little messy. Sotheby, the great potion alchemist that easily. Hmm, well, you got some, uh... Oh, what's that one stuff? That the, the stuff that they, with the balls in it. And the, it's like slime, but with the balls in it. I don't remember what it's called. A slime with balls toy from the two, early 2010s. <laughs> oh, thanks, Stream Elements. Now you want to tell me that I'm streaming Reverse 1999. Thank you. <laughs> it took it 3,000 years to update. Wow. <laughs> Must be slow today. More people are... What? Oh, <laughs> that it said like more people are white. No, more people, more of the people in white are attracted by the noise in the room. God. What? What's going on? Um, go smell it and go What's sneeze. Wrong, Miss Your dress is a mess. Ugh, this room smells terrible. Well, I sprayed some for Bree, so you're not one to judge, bitch. Oh, my body is back. The potions are back. Oh, you gotta increase the dosage then. The guard covered in odd slime tries to get up off the floor with great effort. No, it's gonna solidify and he's gonna be stuck there for all eternity. It's good to see you here. Doesn't even sound like he's sneezing. It sounds like he's, a, he's like crying out in pain. Like, oh. No, no. Oh, she couldn't escape. Where's Mr. Apple? We get a Sotheby point of view. We get a Druvis point of view. Where's Mr. Apple point of view? Where is he? Raise a glass. I will. We're gonna drink some sherry. <laughs> oh, no, wait. That's Ms. Virginia. That's probably Burton. I can't tell what that is. Maybe Druvis and, um, I don't know what those are. <laughs> Oh, I saw vodka! We're getting crunk. Best waking up after surgery. Time to drink vodka. Brisk and lively footsteps echo between the walls of the empty halls. <laughs> Miss Lilia! Oh! You are here! Here you are! Oh, it's you! You haven't been in the story before. We just picked you up off the side of the road and we're like, oh yeah, you're part of the team now. Are uh, you using on the same unit as Lilia? Our teacher asked me to give you this and ask you to help us to... Um... What was it? Who let the 12 year old down here? Layla and he suddenly stops herself. She scratches her head in bewilderment. <laughs> okay, why is she you down here? The mock exam of Zena's enrollment procedure. The mock exam? Is she in an exam? anywhere they said you were in the rehab center so i came here <sighs> as quickly as possible well you made it why are you well, here turns out the moment i saw you the thing just slipped my mind <laughs> i'm overexcited welcome why does it sound like you're talking into like a, a, a can all right i got it i'll head back then it's a great pleasure to see you today Okay, uh, thanks for showing up for two seconds. Go for it! Alay! Gunfante! I don't know what that means! Leilani waves her- waves at her, running away delightfully. Mm, I don't trust her. Why go for it, me? Do I look like a stajor to her? Yes? Nivajna. Let me check. The check what? What are you doing? Oh, Elevation, nice cactus. Five hundred feet, mountainous terrain, dense forest area, good atmospheric visibility. Enemies: groups of ground-based wood creatures and airborne elitio species. O four. What conditions? Bad. Oh, dense fog. That says forest. <laughs> You're scouting out en enemies. 
If we were to engage the enemy in this dense forest and fight in close range, our mobility will be largely reduced. Because there's too many trees. To dodge attacks from the ground. <laughs> a barrel roll. What is this, Star Fox? Deal with the Air Force first. I mean, you could blow up the entire forest. I mean, <laughs> no, that's terrible. <laughs> Don't do that. Ready to fight. All right, you got a plan. Lilia signs her name on the paper. Where? I guess you did. Oh, we're fighting something? I need a beast, people. All right, that's your time to shine, my guy. Uh, let me see who will be my poor teammates. Well, listen. <laughs> uh, we'll bring eternity. Why not? All right. Just one thing. I will be home by 10 p.m. <sighs> Just as what's been practiced countless times. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Yeah. Anyone offer your seat to the senior? What? Did you just tell me? Something about a senior? What am I doing? What is that? Oh, oh wait, the cat. I didn't see the boob. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, there's a family of cacti. Oh, there's a baby. I want that one to perish first. <laughs> Handle it gently. Forward. Don't worry, you won't cry too. Oh, it's been My a child, while since I've heard their, their, their voice lines in combat because I usually have the game muted so I can listen to Hell's Kitchen me. while I'm farming Easy, for God. materials. <laughs> I forgot about his whistle and I don't even know what she told me. Take it easy. Take yes, it easy? Then? No, we have to murder these stingrays. They're gonna sting me? you. Hence their name, Stingray. <laughs> Wow, that you didn't do much. I need to work on the resonations of everyone, but I'm out of the, the chunks. <laughs> and I need more coins and things. Forward. Handle it gently. Don't worry, you won't cry soon. The eagle's eyes. You did it. Oh, no, there's another wave. I keep forgetting that there's multiple wave. Mm, and you, you perish. Mm, I could do that. Or I could just do one. Oh, wait a minute. Are you already up there? Whatever. Try for free. Try for free. Try for free? What? You have free samples? What's on the menu, Pain? Man, I got everybody's ult. Bloody we should job. just kill them, but you know. I'll give you the time to play. The ocean dries and I'm alone awesome. again. <laughs> Here comes Big Baluba. I will pray for you. Thanks, Sonetta. You did Sorry. so much during that whole fight. That's it. Scoochney. Yeah, Scoochney. <laughs> How, we went out. She went outside the fight and then came back right here. What kind of new recruits they will let in by giving out such a simple exam? Well, might not be simple to them. She takes her few. She takes a few mouthfuls from the military canteen hanging on her belt. The, the vodka. Are you evaluating the battlefield mock exam for this year? I heard Zeno has updated their question bank. Is it gonna have chess on it? If there was an exam where you had to just play chess, I would win. I would win the exam. <laughs> Madam Z walks up to her from the other end of the hallway, not far away from her. A dressy stranger follows. Who? Nah, just killing time. By fighting things in the forest and coming back inside? Who's the dressy thing? She throws the exam paper aside, looking up and down at the wand holding newcomer. Their eyes meet. Is it Sonetto? Who? Hmm. Uh huh? Oh no, Adrubus! I smelled bison grass. Okay. Good for you. Huh? <laughs> Even she's gonna be like, what the fuck is bison grass? In your canteen. <laughs> is that a key ingredient in vodka? Huh, right. Authentic Zubrovka. One of the few pastimes I have here. Well, you're so proud of getting crunk on the job. 
Wanna have a sip? No. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm very allergic, actually, and I will die if I touched it. Smells fresh. Tender. Like thyme and lavender in spring. Wow. I believe it is precious. That's very poetic. You can smell things. <laughs> I can smell you. <laughs> that was so funny. So he's like, good, congratulations, you can smell things. Good job. Fresh indeed. Made in 1929. I'll say it's already about, uh, forget it. I don't do maths. Why not? The, wait, what do you mean? Are you trying to count the years that have gone by since 1929? But this is 1929, unless this place is like, is like, not on the timeline. It's just floating in a circle, in a, in a space that's not connected to the timeline? Hmm. Your lines are very suspicious, Lilia. A sensitive time without saying any more words they're all I uh, they they all cast their eyes on the closest window where <laughs> oh behind that window on the bed lies a patient yeah it's person <laughs> securely packed by magnetic coils rubber tubes and a transparent helmet she looks like she's going into space well, I guess this place does look very futuristic. So, you're here for Verton too? Oh, you're here for her too? Oh, uh, this is awkward. I'm showing her around the foundation and decided to drop by the rehab center. <sighs> oh, yeah, to drop by the rehab center. Uh huh. Do you have another secret mission? I know it. I know she's good. I trust her. <laughs> Mesmer Jr. sits by the bed. She has noticed the visitors at the window, but she doesn't turn around to look at them. It's like in FNAF when you don't even check the- see if Chica and Bonnie are standing by the windows. You just close the door because you can smell them approaching. Her back stiffens even more. A sign of vigilance. The ward is also guarded by several staff members of the rehabilitation center. Their state-of-the-art equipment spirals up their uniforms. All right, there they decked out with the technology. She dream. Yeah, and you don't know how to know what she dreamed of. Sometimes. Madam Z stares at the reflection of Druvis's face on the glass, and doesn't even bother to look at her. Just looks at the reflection. Let me show you somewhere else. No, I want to stay here. Druvis does not say another word. Silently, she follows Madame Z and moves towards the other side of the hallway. Neither of them look back. At one point or another, their figures overlap each other, as if they bec they were the same person. Did they merge? <laughs> Lilia turns her eyes back to the inert person on the bed. What? <laughs> Ew! What was that sound? She jiggles the canteen in her hand. It's still half full. It's like, well, time to finish the rest, I guess. You have a good taste, Bellwether. Bellwether? Who's that? Is that Drubus? Never tried the vodka from 1929 before. <sighs> good for you to get this in the US, when both alcohol and Kumarin were banned. Uh, I don't know what Kumarin is. The thing you said about take care of them for me when necessary i'll consider it okay you do you oh nice raise a glass padruga raise a glass where is my glass shit i'll just pretend i have a glass in my hand to your health your soon recovery yeah oh what do you mean by recovery in quotation marks um to our better lives uh, to this unknown date, to this messed up time. Oh, you don't even know what date it is. Zazdarovia. Yeah, Zastaroni. I push that pronunciation. <laughs> I just have this overwhelming sense of dread, like something terrible is gonna kind of happen crazy here. Idea of this place now. I walk you to your room. No, can we go visit Mr. Apple? I am deeply concerned that we haven't seen him yet and we've seen everyone else. Is there anything else you want to know? Oh, where's Mr. Apple? 
Why does it sound like she creaked like she's a robot? What do I have to do so you will release Burton? <gasps> Ooh! That's a good question. Someone has hit the nail on the head. That's what that squeaking was. <sighs> yeah, she knows this is not natural. It depends on what you hope to achieve. Uh, I just want to leave, man. <laughs> depends on us. Is that what you said? Oh, throw her words right back at her! Burton, the person we rely on is being hypnotized in the rehab center. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that suitcase, the world we inhabit, has been taken away for research purposes. That's our home! It's as if the whole thing was manipulated to leave us high and dry and isolated so that you would have something on us. Gosh, she's so smart. We do not have a choice. Madame Z. However, if we change the condition, that something they have can turn the negotiation around and in your favor. Well, then make it in our favor. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I... I do not understand what you mean. <laughs> Same. <laughs> and when she speaks, I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, nice paper. Before she went to the rehab center, Burton asked me about which department you would be in. Storm Revolution, Manpower and Discipline. And we have worked out a feasible proposal. Uh-huh. <sighs> At a catalyst is what we need at present. The quiet, mild, and tranquil status quo makes the change seem unnecessary. What? A proper gust of wind will vitalize the wave of change and push it to the cusp of revolution. I'm gonna need you to stop being poetic for two seconds and just say what you mean. <laughs> but it is risky. That's true. Are we gonna like brave the storm without the suitcase? What? I cannot give you any promises. Y you may die, <laughs> but that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. <laughs> but a fixed pattern of management will only impede the development of everyone. I hold the same idea as Burton's in this case. Hmm. Or, there is another path in front of you. Sign your name and become an official member of the Foundation. No! A path that many arcanists who cannot support themselves yarn for. Hmm. So, you are not inducing me to join the Foundation? I'm here to show you around. <laughs> and tell you you have a choice through passive means. My senior asked me to make sure that you had a comforting tour. I hope this tour is helpful for you. Oh, maybe. I don't know if I can trust her or not. It seems like yes, but also no. She's... I, I can't read her. Ah, uh, not this time. A neat detailed note showing one's longing. Lemon! Snow leopard! Uh, the changus. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. In the castle! Oh, finally I can unlock the Pussy Air 5! I need that! <laughs> Uh, in the shelter. We're in the depths of Bowser's castle, and there's gonna be magma, and that the cool songs are gonna play. Where on earth do these things come from? Stop vacuuming! They are stuck in the crevices. <gasps> it's the seeds. She planted seeds. Nothing. It's like they are rooted. They weren't here until a few days ago. I heard some of these seeds were also found in the rehab center, but the staff there got rid of them in no time. Hmm. Bloody hell. Looks like we have to dig them out one by one with our fingers. Yeah, dig up the floorboards to get out the seeds, but here. when you do that, the seeds are gonna release their toxins that'll make you plant people. Got them. Seed? What seed? The seed! The seed! Hmm. Let me take a look. Yeah. 
You can use your potions on the sea to expand their growth and create a jungle, then you can escape. She stands on tiptoe, trying her best to figure out what's happened outside the room through the ground glass. The ground glass? What? What's the ground glass? The window? Oh, I can't see anything. I'm so bored. Uh, melt down the telephone into a fine liquid and make a potion. Do I really have to sign the agreement to get out? No. I haven't discussed it with anyone yet. A fair lady always thinks that true is an agreement and you are a fair lady document mr carson has said that hundreds of times oh, mr. It must carson. Be vital. i miss mr carson and he's definitely not going to appear in the floorboards and give her advice he's fucking dead oh. i miss him too i know she's got a tear in her eye there comes a disturbance from the other side of the door what <laughs> Backup! We need backup! Emergency! Why? 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 A whole forest appeared in room 101. The material area. It's... It's growing out of Timekeeper's suitcase. Oh, nice! I knew it would do something crazy! What are you talking about? It's a forest, bitch! As I said, it's an emergency. The staff in room one. It's an emergency! You sound not, not concerned about that. A large number of branches came out of the suitcase. And even attack us on their own. Damn, that's a smart tree. Use Draco drought. D Draco drought? Of course not. The room is full of inflammables. The whole floor would be burning now if we did. No, you should definitely use the Draco drought. We definitely want you to burn down the room. Military chainsaws, but it's a drop in the Military bucket. chainsaws. Fine. I'll go apply for a few more. Just wait for me there. I'll get two more chainsaws for you guys. Don't worry about it. We got you. Agatha, go help them out. Roger that. Yeah, you three definitely are you should, are on the case. You're gonna do the it. The is growing out of Miss Virgin's suitcase. Yeah, yeah. Could it be? Struvis' great arcane skill. Star. Yes. Gods are gone. Oh, I wish I could see that bizarre scene myself. You can. Because the brain cells are gonna unlock your door. Huh? What's that strange sound? It's the unlocking of your door. Who's trying to lockpick it? Is it Mr. Apple? He's gonna be so smart. He's so smart. He knows how to lockpick. I know it. Oh, I didn't realize she she did what? She lays her eyes on the shut door. Okay, the keyhole is rattling. Shaking. Somebody trying to get in! Oh my god! <laughs> the rattles visibly become stronger! No, something... Something is coming in! Uh, maybe it's not Mr. Apple. I don't think he would, like, rip off her door like that. <laughs> the lock shakes so violently as if it was wrestling something invisible. Oh, hey! <laughs> yeah, at least you can get out now! You just have to find a plant! The newborn vine ruthlessly pierces through the lock, leaving the ladder hanging in the air like lifeless grapes. Oh, <laughs> I love finding door handles in my vineyard. The air smells like fresh plant juice, <laughs> like freshly mowed lawn. Wow. I know, it's so cool. The lock, it's actually broken. Yeah, you can leave. Which means I'm free to go. Yeah. Hooray. Yippee. The door quietly opens, giving away to the outside world. Oh, you don't have to fight the plants, but you might have to fight the guards that are running back and forth trying to cut down the plants. The place outside has turned into a vigorous new world. Yeah, so, so, it's gonna say girthy, but no, earthy. Wow. The seeds on the ground have all it reminds me of the the decor in Danganronpa V3. Like how the school is covered in plant. <laughs> she is baffled as she fiddles with the sprouts on the ground. Hmm. The seeds have the same color as the crevices. I would have missed them if I didn't look carefully. Can you make a potion out of them? Such a slender branch actually broke the lock. How marvelous! You are Miss Sotheby's hero! Yeah, good job, Branch. Hey! 
How did you get out? Uh, the branch let me out. <gasps> Attack him! She is violently pushed to the ground. How dare you push a fair lady? <laughs> Command the branches to attack this bitch! How rude you are! My potions are broken! Did you conjure these plants? Stop them now! No, I didn't do it. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what these are! She turns around to su surprisingly find that the sprouts soaked in the potions are visibly getting thicker and stronger. Well, you made these ones now! <laughs> I knew she'd grow plants. Oh Potion for plants. Oh, you just had that on hand. <laughs> Twigs thicken into branches and more. New branches come out from them and new leaves and sprout new sprouts. They crawl forward, forming a tree fortress around Sullivan. Wow, that's pretty cool actually. <laughs> I'd love to see a CG of that. What do you think you're doing? No. Stop them! Well, uh, you pushed her and broke her her vials. That's just your fault, dude. <laughs> nope. Come on, try and catch me again if you can. <laughs> You're gonna lose, bitch. <laughs> nope, we'll probably have to find him next time. Oh, or now, or now, that's fine. I need star and play mm, Okay, let's go for you. Oh, I can do a quick lineup. I figured out what that is. Uh, no, uh, you, and then uh, uh, you, and uh, you, and, and you. Uh, no, and uh, no, you can't, you get that. Yes. All right, guards, you're going down. You with your ghost busting equipment. The woods always welcome their friends to come under their shelter while keep in, uh, will keep out ill intentioned. This has been the way of the past, and it will stay the same in the future. Oh, thanks, plants. I mean, thanks, Drupins. Affirmative for everyone. Target locked. A ravishing rainbow. Damn. Drubus is very smart. She planned it for this moment. She's like, I don't trust what's going on here, so let me drop my seeds all over the place and they're gonna grow and destroy everything. Then we can all escape and leave. But where is Mr. Apple? I'm gonna keep saying it until he faggot shows up, because I'm worried. We haven't seen Regulus either, but she might be doing her own thing. <laughs> I love when they shoot my little spiky doodad and then they die. <laughs> so satisfying. Oh, I guess I should save that for the next wave. I point to it like you can see it. My big fat head's in the way. It was the debuff card. It was like swirling. That one, that one, that one. <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, hmm. Target found. It's fine. They're all gonna die in three seconds. Ready? Three. Two, one, crash. <laughs> and then you one shot. And then you, that's not gonna one shot him, but it's gonna get him half. Yeah. But he confused. I don't get what confusion does. It doesn't really confuse them. It just, it's not like Pokemon. They can't hurt himself in confusion. We did Damn it! We got the Poussier and the Minted Javalaganga, whatever that said. <laughs> we got the money. All right, let's go. The Forest Express. It's I like the Astral Express, the Polar Express, but now it's a train made of right. trees. Here are 30 cans of Dr. Pepper, 20 bags of Happy Wedges, 11 bags of Bigfoot Gummy, and a bottle of insect repellent for plants. That's a lot of shit. <laughs> Who's ordering that? Just as he finishes the sentence, oh, there's some smoke covering oh, his dialogue. Good timing. Oh, good timing. I knew this would happen. <laughs> Are you taking there inventory? Be a bit of ash on them, but the flavor and texture should still be fine. Yeah, we'll just wash off the Dr. Pepper. Oh, <coughs> oh. oh hey, Regulus. Uh, is Mr. Apple with you? Um, where is he? The ash is me that's way more than a bit 
What exploded? Why did he put ash all over the place? I can't just carry them with me in broad daylight. Do you know how many procedures I've gone through just to pay you a visit? Oh, you've snuck these things in! But how come you're locked in the same room? Since when has the Foundation become so benevolent? Uh, since the egg-headed bitch Constantine was in charge. They would like Captain to guide me to the right path, <laughs> to join the Foundation. After all, Captain was already a member of them. It's okay, your sample's fine. Uh, it takes a huge weight off my shoulders. And <laughs> yep, but I don't feel any difference in the benefits I get. At best, I could contact someone from the outside. And you're here. So, Texas Hold'em? What? What's Texas Hold'em? Is that code? No, no Texas! <laughs> That's not what I'm here for. You're not here for Texas? I've shown you the storm records these years. So, did you find anything? Oh, they're working together on the thingy. They're <laughs> finding things that will maybe bring the foundation down, perhaps. They're gonna devise a plan. You call it a record, but it's so brief that it only has start time and duration. I can't tell any pattern from that. <laughs> yeah, give me the deep secrets that this place holds. Hmm. This apple believes that the storm which happens randomly does not conform to the self-adjusting nature of the universe. Ooh. Self-adjusting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, what'd you find? Is that the theory you mentioned before? Something like, there should be someone who intervenes or improves the system in order to reduce the growth of the instability of the universe? Oh uh, yeah, those are words. For example, if the universe is a mooring rope, no, a bunch of ropes, there has to be a sailor who pulls the ropes to keep them in order or something. Yeah, then definitely. <laughs> Sounds like the cosmology from centuries ago. Well, they're from the 60s. What universe are you from? <laughs> he doesn't seem keen on the theory. Well, okay, nor does he repel it. That's fine. He's neutral. But he just quickly spins on his heels without saying a word. Where are you going? Get back here. <laughs> but your metaphor reminds me of Madame Z's research on string theory. Oh, we love string theory. We love string. She advocates that the energy string is the most basic unit of the universe. I don't know about anything Martin about real boss? string theory. Boss? Well, if that's your definition of immediate supervisor, then yes. Madame Z was a scientist who studied in Britain before she joined the Foundation. Oh, she British? Ooh, bread and honey are the staff of life. That makes sense. What? <laughs> Is that a British term? We just call people, oh, that's my bread and honey, because we're Br both British. Well, it's not a good choice for most scientists. What, bread? <laughs> Recently, she has been promoted from the chief of the vice president's staff to a formal member of the committee. I guess she will spend even less time in the lab. Oh, no. Oh, no, there's trees! <laughs> a sudden and violent bump comes from the outside the door. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, what's wrong? Are you okay, Mr. Apple? The whole building shakes. Did something hit it? Um, the tree people. Let me see. Uh, did we get to see it too? Oh! Oh, you look so pretty with your hair all down and your nice green dress and the nice stick. Wow. <laughs> And it's burning? What are, what are their burning ashes? <laughs> Looking out of the window, they see a giant oak cut down from its bottom, leaning on the hallway from the second floor. Wow. <laughs> you made a whole ass tree. Among its ever-growing branches stands a familiar figure in a black dress. Oh, that's, it's black. It's just a green reflecting off of it. A young teenager with a hat, waggling and swaying on a branch, follows her. So by a particular chanting, more and more trees grow up from the ground, stretching and spread in midair. Is that Druvis? Yeah. And Sotheby. It's our friends! We're leaving! Come with us! You've stolen all the documents in 30 cases of Dr. Pepper. 
He turns around looking serious. He's like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna explain that. What's this? Guys? Uh, we're leaving. I am not gonna be dragged into a ride at this point. Yes, you are. Come on, dude. Come with us. Is that Druvis? What happened to her? Uh, she had a glow up. <laughs> her new hairstyle is sort of cool. <laughs> yeah, it was cool Captain, before. It's not the point. <laughs> He's like, come on, dude, please focus. Agreed. Not the point at all. I gotta go. If you want me to take part in such an event, my name should never be in the visitor log. Okay, we'll, we'll cross it out. Looks like we'll the whole exit out, out if you will. <laughs> Alright, good luck. Alright, bye. Again, thanks for not helping us. Wait a minute. If we join Druvis, what would happen? Um, Egghead Constantine would play chess with you and you would die. <laughs> Don't chuckle at us. You know what's gonna happen. Get over here. What would happen? I'm not a prophet. Why? Well, you, but you have an inkling. But this is gonna be the best spot for protest. This building is the furthest one from the center of the foundation. On the first and second floors are material rooms and research offices. Few staff stay here. I see, so you're saying to make this our base of operations. I get what you're putting down. He's helping us, but he's not going to help us. The room next to yours is the projection lab. Oh, projections! We can watch movies! It was used to control the slides projected in the lobby. That screen is gone now, but the transfer devices and circuits are still there. Oh, so we can make things. We can make a robot. You know what? If you're going to protest... Make it loud. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's been a long time since the Foundation had something this much fun. Oh, you just like chaos, don't you? He pulls out the one sleeve in Regulus's grip and quickly exits the room. <laughs> All right, bye, X. Hope to see you later. Hey, it's queens. Is Burton having a fight with the Foundation? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Yes. Damn, with her hair down, she looks so majestic. We have a disagreement with the Foundation, Miss Sotheby. And now we're gonna attack. Burton is seeking a limited freedom for us. Her aspiration is to restore the peaceful life before the storm. For the authorities, however, her aspiration and ambition are labeled as deviation and rebellion. Because th they're evil. <laughs> we are thus tempted, alienated, and arrested unjustly. That's why we've been grounded all these days. Exactly, we're gonna fight back. So we're helping Verton now. Is that right, Miss Jubis? <laughs> yes, <laughs> in the most chaotic way possible. I really feel like doing something for her. Just like what I'm doing right now. Standing brave on the tree. You're doing such a great job. Right, on the tree. We need to move forward, to move one step further. We need to get to the center of the foundation and put roots in, within it. When we meet up with Regulus and Apple, our voices will be stronger, and more and more people will offer their help. Like X. <laughs> he just turns and leaves. I believe that when the day comes, we will be able to shake up the balance in the foundation and tilt it to our side. Well, you'll definitely tilt the foundation with all the trees that are growing in it. Shake up the balance. Wow. It's like when you shake a, a Dr. Pepper and then it explodes because the carbonation got big and it boom, go Maybe boom. Come back herself by then. I sure hope so. Now my goal is to make more potions so the trees can grow larger and larger. Make them super large. Yeah. This is going to be a protracted war of resistance. Let's go! After we rescue Regulus, please maintain our territory of the woods with the rest of your potions, Miss Sotheby. You get, better get cooking. Sure, I will economize on them. Oh, you do that. Look, X is coming out of the room. Hey, come on the tree, bro. He left. It seems he has made his choice. He's giving us hints. He, he knows we're gonna do something crazy. Not helping us or them. Well, at least no one is getting hurt from the boiling pot this time. Let me see. Hmm, 
There are more guards at the door now. It seems everyone's there. Well, but if they're all in one place, then you could just take them all out with your trees. Perhaps they have guessed our next move. Regulus. Oh. Let's go. We gotta help them. It's time to meet up with our companions. Yeah. Go, go. Regulus must be bored to death just as I was. Druvus raises her wand, her big stick. As the chant goes on, her hair has become increasingly glistening gold. Okay. <laughs> it's like she's been reborn. The oak marches on like waves, their bud scales. Watch out! I didn't finish reading! <laughs> their buds keep growing, extending, chasing, and overlapping each other, and their crowns shoot forward like missiles. Wow, that's a strong tree. Ready to engage. Yeah, fight the tree. What can you do, bitch? <laughs> I hope I just have a big tree on my side, like, a, as a character. Look how he had the, the coat rack. <laughs> it's fine. I don't want to change it. Oh, God, we got the baseman McGee, a professor, and then some doofus. Oh, play, play, I'm going against you. We'll just take this man it's out first. I don't trust him. <laughs> What'd you do? Terror? You can't inflict terror on us. Well, I guess that's what professors do. They make it so that you have to bend to their every will. Hmm. I can't I we'll just take that out. I bet it, yeah, I was betting on you hitting that guy Enough in the back. <laughs> yeah, that was tactically planned. Ow. Hmm. Hmm. How about some of this? And, um, uh, how about What's some that? of that? And then some of this. Fine. Beating. I see. That's okay. Oh, I can't agree more. <laughs> I love how there's more trees on the battlefield now. It's a nice attention to detail. Up against who's got the burst. Be careful, young man. All right, stop it, you freak. I'm gonna crush you with my big galaxy Don't hand. Move. Weightlessness only lasts a second. Stars. Aw, oh, damn, you didn't crit on him, but that's fine. <laughs> he was gonna die anyway. Goodbye. Oh, but Mr. Apple crit, he's so strong. Did I meet your expectations? Yeah, you did great, thank you. A pirate's declaration. Oh, we're projecting Mr. Apple onto the walls, as we should. Uh, if I had a projector, I would put Mr. Apple everywhere in my walls. Oh, it's August 31st. Cool. <laughs> but what year? We'll never know. The receptionist is confirming the name list just submitted by the House of In Integrus. Well, your building's gonna get invaded by trees in two seconds. The vice president is coming her way. It's rare to see her picking up files herself. But as the daily agenda tracker shows, the chance of the vice president asking for this name list is 85%. Do we have the candidate's name list? What candidate? Show it to me. What, are, what are we electing? Yes. Please wait a minute. It'll be prepared right away. Thanks, clerk. That's right! Thanks to the invention designed by Laplace Scientific Computing Center, everything here has a highly controllable, effective, and logic within. What? <laughs> the fingers of the receptionist are also very smart and have a, whatever was in. <laughs> what? Logic. That's the word. Her fingers of the receptionist lightly percuss the keyboard, and she will clearly be locating faster files than ever. Suddenly, she freezes. 
No, no, it's so cold. Um, why is the light on? What light? The sun? That's the sun, bitch. What a horrible prediction in her mind. Oh, with a horrible prediction in her mind. She hastily turns to the wall with an open mouth and round eyes. Okay. Ah! This is war! <laughs> Apple's here to declare war! <laughs> and Apple shows up on the blurry production. Produ is up oh, it's a sentence in the crooked font emerges beneath the gigantic apple and the words are glaring this is war warning warning oh, it's it's we have taken over the foundation this is our house our are, release us set Bertin free that will destroy we everything with trees after that we are the reception cuts out the power terrified well you'll never know what they're gonna do the lobby which these people stride in and is stalking off all the time now freezes in dead silence. <laughs> Be wary of the apple. You didn't think he was a threat, but he's the biggest threat of them all. Madam, I... I didn't. I... Hey, hey, you're gonna die now for your mistakes. What's the matter? Something wrong with the printer? Did you not see the projection? No, no. Oh, right. Uh, the candidate name list. Here you are. Yeah, pretend like nothing's wrong. She passes on the name list with a pale face. Thank you. This is exactly what I need. Mm, you're not bothered by the declaration of war, now are you? Constantine casts a quick look at the wall. Yeah, she saw it. The source of the disturbance has gone. Sorry for the scene. Well, you didn't do it. Like others here, they also have the right to make their voices heard. It is the essential step for us to come to an agreement. Before we go to war. We will take care of this, don't worry. No, you, no, you stay away from them. She smiles as she does so the people around her are visibly relieved and stored to life. What? Okay. However... Perhaps we should stop using the old projector. It may lead to accidents, don't you think? What? What are you planning to do with the projectors? Understood. I'll remove the transfer devices now. No. She jumps up on her feet and salutes her. Wow. Constantine that turns around and leaves. Bye, bitch. <laughs> you think taking out the concentration of the projectors oh, is gonna help? Hell. How dare they cut off the power? It's okay, we'll just paint the declarations on the walls. This pirate has so much left to declare. Exactly, let's go tell him in person, we'll hand out flyers. Wimps, cowards, hypocrites. Yeah, get them. Here, here, I can't agree more. It is very rude to hang up before others finish their words. You're so right. This is not telephone, Miss Sotheby. Well, listen, <laughs> it's okay. That is not that important. He's not so a literal. He's so accurate. He's so me. <laughs> but no, why am I no trying to be that? What, it's not it. We've communicated to them the most crucial requirements for negotiation. We did. <laughs> I don't think we got any declaration through to them. I'm sure they will respond to us properly. Um, with violence. I just want to take the chance to show our attitude. Oh, I'm sure we will. We got like Taking 10 other stages left. At the headquarters of the foundation, it's a gas in the late hundreds of years. Oh, it would have been perfect if we could have another you can't win to close it out. We could look around here to see if there's other broadcasting equipment. However, this apple does not recommend frequent provocation. Yeah, provoke them too much, they're just gonna, like, drop a bomb on us. Right now, it's more important to patrol the surroundings in case we are ambushed by the guards. Oh, he's so level-headed. <laughs> so hard. Miss Druvis is forming Abatis alone downstairs. Perhaps she needs our help. Oh, Abatis. Mm, fine, you have a point. This pirate has decided to put off the plan to liberate the Foundation. Yeah, we have three days. You can do that later. Almost reluctantly, she forces herself to stop looking at the radio. Besides forming abatis, what else do we need to do? Uh, set up the chessboard, put up our defenses. 
prepare the weapons. There's much to be done, Captain. Find water sources, transfer essential equipment, reserve enough food, set up multiple defenses in the woods, and arrange a duty schedule. Make sure someone is garrisoned outside the suitcase while others are resting inside. Mmm. Very smart. That's a good plan. Well, I have the tomato and potato seeds from Ms. Druvis. We must plant them in the suitcase to guarantee food supply. It's going to take a while for the tomatoes and potatoes to grow. Um. Um, tomato and potato? Yeah. All vegetables, no meat? Oh, they're meant for the piggies that grow my bacon. When I was wandering the seas, at least I could have a grilled sea bass every day. Well, we're not on the sea and there's no pigs here, so get used to tomato and potato. <sighs> I wonder what Vertin eats in real. Probably nothing. She's probably getting hungry? fed through like a, a tube. <laughs> wow, there's bears in the forest, girl. <gasps> Almost forgot about the goodies accent. Oh, that's right. We got the Dr. Pepper and uh, the, the other things he said that are covered in ash. We'll definitely hang in there for a few more days with them. Where did you Where did you put all of that in your bag? Sotheby, Mr. Apple, you go downstairs first. I'll meet up with you once I bring the box down there. Okay, don't die in the process. Right. We will meet you at the entrance. Stay safe. Stay safe, famous last words. Oh, something bad's definitely gonna happen. It's not gonna be as easy as we think. Ooh, who's in the forest? You check the surroundings. Maybe they didn't catch your words just now. Oh, you're surrounded by the clerks. Say it out loud. Feck you, clerks. Oh, I need my, my other people. Mm, I need... Not you, not you. No, no, no star. I'll bring Terbidi and, 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 and you. And then, yeah, that's correct. And then you can have your signature dish of you. I will assist you to keep the battle under control. Oh, we start off. Okay. Okay. It's just like, here, have all your old suit because you're gonna just wreck their shit. The ocean dries and I'm alone again. Lost! Take the offensive! Ciao, amore! Is there anybody left? Oh, that one guy. He was at like two health. <laughs> oh, you lived? Well, you didn't do that much. <laughs> now die. Uh, then you can have that. Have some of this. And some of these. Take these bullets and dead. I will pray for you. Thanks, Queen. Sorry. You may have heard your vo that you made your voice heard. You have made your point known. Thank you. <laughs> ah, spoon. It's like yes, I want all the spoons, please. That's what this is all about. Oh, the, the mustard flavor, big zero. I don't know what that said. I'm not gonna read it. Both sides of the table. Oh, yippee! <laughs> September 2nd. It's been like two days! That means we're getting closer to war. There is no need to hold an emergency meeting for this. Uh, thanks, Hank Kill. <laughs> Such declaration of war without tactic or plan B is typical example of Arcanist behavior. Oh, are, you, are you a human? Why? The area they controlled has no value at all, no matter in terms of the size or the influence. Well, we could easily plant our seed in the center. Well, the administration department has not taken official actions yet. I heard the plan was to dispatch a team to escort them to the School of Discipline. No, we ain't going to school. Problem solved, then. No, it's not solved. We can't get in through our trees. Hey, Kill is underestimating us. 
Ew, what's that sound? Who farted? The books of the case files are closed and the chairs squeakily scratch the floor. The attendants are meeting stand up. Next time, if Virgin brings back more unregistered arcanists, will the same thing happen again? Yes. <laughs> Madam Z stands still where she was. The committee members stop in their door. By the door, slowly turn back to her. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Your hand kill. That's been like giga chatified. It's not a shame to join the foundation, is it? Yes, it is. By signing the agreement, Arcanists will enjoy the right to use arcane skills in human society and be bestowed great honor. That's what they say on paper. The Human Resource Department could have used the whole floor to hold the applications a dozen years ago. Not even the New Age movement could challenge the Foundation's authority in the international community. And these short-sighted exceptions, they aren't even worth being made a topic for the meeting. Are you sure about that? So we got a big plant lady, we got a, a potion lady, a pirate, and an apple. It's a big threat. Yet, they are not here for the San Pablo Foundation. They're here for Verton. They choose to follow her out of their own will because of their admiration for her. They're besties! That is the essential difference between them and our former recruits. You mean it's not important at all for them to join the Foundation? No! I'm afraid so. But they'll never we can't join. Spell them. Because I'm not part of the Foundation yet. We both know. That the foundation now requires new members to form a stronger force. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Miss Z? Skip to the point. Hey, kill us had enough. She returns to her seat, sits down, and opens the folder again. We're discussing this once more. Today, the House of Intergratus has resubmitted a revised draft of Storm Reformation, Manpower and Discipline. I and mean, what does that entail exactly? I think it's time to decide if this draft can be adopted and then start a debate. Uh, the, the debate of whether to d destroy the storm and stop the storm production? You are asking for troubles, madam. Well, we have to discuss it sooner or later. Might as well be now. Turn to page 21, section 3. Damn, that's a lot of papers. External personnel recruited by the timekeeper should be placed within the timekeeper's department. The timekeeper has the duties of education and discipline to them, and should be responsible for their follow-up behaviors. Personnel within the timekeeper's department, subject to the Foundation Staff Code, will take orders from the timekeeper and are not required to take direct orders from the Foundation. Well, that sounds fair. This section allows those unregistered arcanists to have more autonomy and develop a stronger sense of identity as a part of the Foundation. We have a stronger sense of war to be declared on the Foundation. The Foundation still has the military right to deploy them. It can solve the current problem. You need to give them rights. Which means we will be working with some uncontrollable mercenaries. No! I'll say it's the reserve service for wartime. It's not going to work. What happened when the Arcanists were not under control? Uh, the storm was brewed. <laughs> Massacres, tyranny, endless revenge. History is nothing but a sewer to them, where they vent their. Don't, don't raise your arms, Hank. Kill is angry. Power with a speech of ignorance. The reality has proven that. Well, we're gonna change reality. Thank you. Exactly. What's more, there has never been a reform as such in the history of the Foundation. Well, there's gonna be one now, so get used to it, bitch! During the unexpected storm, reforming in a rush will only increase the re- No, all his egghead coming in. Oh, of course she is. She's gotta put poker hard-boiled nose into everybody's business. Oh, she's angry. She threw those papers on the floor! Oh, on the table. <laughs> Quite a heated discussion. Well, yeah, Hank Hill was throwing some hands. I can see you all have a great interest in this draft proposal. And you're here to fuck it up. 
Hope I didn't miss too much. Don't brush your bangs like you're waving your hair all about in the wind. You barely touched it. Let me get the dude. Of course. Oh, what's that? Who's that? Something's for me. Oh, a ride on to Tobogan. What's Tobogan? I don't know what that is. Okay, Toboken, I'm coming for you. The guardians wandering around the edge of the woods won't give, trying to invite you back to the big white house. What? Reject them! I'm not going to the white house. Do you know who's in there? Oh, I need star people. Ah, that bring a Vobobur. Oh, beautiful. I don't want to change anyone else, anyone actually. This guy kind of looks like Aaron from Game Grumps. <laughs> that guy kind of looks like Ross. <laughs> That's just some dude who broke into the Game Take Grumps headquarters. <laughs> For everyone. Nope, we're taking them down. Please don't worry about me. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't even looking at you. I was envel enveloped by these dudes. Uh, you can perish. Uh, yeah, whatever. Easy for everyone. You get a nasty wound. Oh, you have your burst, do you? Well, I just want to say to that. Handle Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Everyone gets a turn biting at this guy's ankles. Oh, nope, he's just dead now. Yes. Great. Great. You feel comfortable and free in the woods? We won! Well, we're just putting our dirt everywhere. Wandering dog! Is Pickles here? No, probably not. Oh, there's another. I recognize that head. It's orange. It's that egghead. I don't know who these are. I can't tell. None of them look like pickles. We are oh, you've taken your seat at the head of the tree. office, you freak. Ms. Z insists on adopting this draft. Oh, we're infiltrating the meeting. Ms. Z. Please, walk Madame Constantine through this section. You do it! Why do I have to do it? No need for that. I've read the stenographer's report. In fact, this is the second time I'm addressing this proposal. Uh, no, I guess it didn't this go through the first time. This has been very determined to its submission. I believe many delegates must have a burning interest in the case. Yeah, just pass it so we At can go to war. Some discussions. Pedro. Pedro? Who's that? The rise of oh, that's the Hank Hill. Volcano world to gradually break free from the foundation. Like, uh, it's like a mixture of Hank Hill and the that one guy from that one game where that guy's got the trench coat and he's like solving a case. Oh God, it's not the last of us. What is it? Oh no, Shelby. That's his last name. Therefore, we need to monitor what our arcanists think and control what they do in a stricter manner, in case they go too far. Heavy Rain, that's what it is. He looks like Hank Hill merged with a Heavy Rain Man. Man is vindictive. Scott Shelby, there we go. Their influence has been getting bigger since the first storm, so has the scale of their infiltration. In the Walden incident of 1929, I wasn't looking at it. I was looking at pictures of Scott Shelby. Oops, hold on. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, hold on. Uh, why do he opposes it? Because the rise of man has been dictated, has caused the arcana world to gradually break free from the foundation. Therefore, we need to monitor what arcanists do. Man has been dictated as evil, and their influence is becoming bigger, and it's and then they're infiltrating. Got it. Very well. A point worth discussion. No, <laughs> it's not. It not Just blow him off, gaslight him into now. thinking his point is terrible so we can move on. <laughs> Stenographer, 
please take down the point Mr. Rosa just made. That will be the subject of our meeting in the third week. You won't live to see the third week. Cats, what do you think? Cats? Oh, that's the blonde bitch. The expectations of our constituencies are on our shoulders. Use smaller words. Fear of the Arcanist has grown due to the attacks by Manus Vindicte in many regions. Well, maybe we should focus on stopping Manus Vindicte instead of being control freaks. It's not ideal for us to implement the peace policy and promote the arcane technology. To maintain the Foundation's reputation, we have to start with the registered arcanists, strengthen the regulations, and show the public that arcanists are reasonable and trustworthy. Well, that's... Yes, but that doesn't have anything to do with what's happening right now. That is why I'm opposed to the draft. Okay. Inspiring. And no, it's not. She's stupid. <laughs> and then they spent 300 years talking and then she's not going to sign the document. However, what a shame. None of you have realized the key factor in this subject. What is the key element that decides whether this proposal will be approved or not? Uh, uh, votes. Manus Vindicte? No. The constituents? No. No. It's far simpler than those. Air. Trees! It's Verton. That's almost trees. Oh, what are you gonna do the Verton? According to the proposal, Verton will become the only tie between these unregistered arcanists and the Foundation. Don't you dare say you're gonna get rid of Verton! As the number of Verton's field missions increases, she will inevitably get in touch with more and more unregistered arcanists. Then you don't want her to do that anymore? That is to say, outside the Foundation's jurisdiction, a group of people is getting stronger each day. An armed force. An armed force armed with trees and Dr. Pepper! Her attitude towards the Foundation will be the key to all the issues. Are you gonna brainwash her into being on the Foundation side? You Virgin better not. Her education as PDM from an early age. She has a clear tendency. Yeah, remember when she brought that frog inside? Yes, that's what I think. Let's just infil infiltrate the frogs and bring them here. That's also why I have asked someone who can provide a valid argument on the issue to join us. Is it Sonetto? You may come in, Sonetto. Of course it's Sonetto. Oh! <laughs> the door is pushed ajar. Sonetto enters the room humbly and prudently. Her uniform seems to have changed a little. Oh no, what do you do? Good day, Madam Vice President. Oh, God, were you Greetings promoted? Committee members. No, no, May no. The peace be with us. No, no, take that off. Don't join them. They're evil. The timekeeper is still in treatment. Before she is restored to health, I appoint you to take care of all the relevant matters on her behalf. God, then this bassy song is playing. You know that she's got evil intentions. Copy that. No, don't follow her. No, Sonetto, you're so naive. Now, I will ask you some questions. Please answer them truthfully. No! Lie! Clear. Lie to her! No, just lie to her! Take the guns off of your headpiece and shoot her! Based on your observation, do you or do you not think the Timekeeper has been loyal to the Foundation? No, she hasn't! <gasps> Uh oh! See what kind of questions you have to answer now that you put this thing on? Of, of course. All the students of the School of Primary Defense of Mankind are devoted to the peace of mankind. We have pledged lifelong allegiance to the foundation that leads the cause. <laughs> That's not what I'm asking. Yeah, you're diverting the question! Let's put it differently. Why do you think Verton would provoke other students to rebel when she was in school? Uh, because... I... I do not know. Then answer what you think! I'm sorry. After the incident of the storm, why would Verton show reluctance to invite the unregistered Arcanists to join the Foundation? Because she knows that this school is evil! Because, um... 
At one point in her negotiation with the Manus Vindicte, Burton has agreed to join them. Wow, we're back. <laughs> My power went out because of the storm brewing outside, just like how the storm is probably brewing in the game. Wow. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, um, let's just... Uh, nothing happened. Yeah, let's continue. We're fine. If it goes out again, then I'll just have to stop for the night. But I need to know what's going on with the wandering dog. We're like part way through and Egghead was asking Sinetto questions. We uh, section three no, and then blah, 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 blah. It's not worth discussing because all their ideas are shit. <laughs> and <laughs> Kat, she doesn't have behind. a valid reason for not wanting to approve the draft. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. She's going to invite Sinetto to come in here and answer some questions to determine whether the draft is possible. And they're going to make a change by changing Burton's attitude to the fact and then everybody else is gonna follow suit supposedly that's what this egghead thinks but it's not gonna happen her uniform sonetto has got a new drip come on come on i'm clicking good day, day. uh-huh to all committee members okay the they're, it's counting the uh, oh fuck why Oh no, what happened? Was I clicking too fast? Am I connected to my ethernet? I am, okay. Um, I think I just broke it. Did I soft lock the game? Oh no, what's happening? I can't click start. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Um, what if I just... Oh, I can't even hit that. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's just close that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> Stream elements, I am streaming. <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, can I click the button again? I can. Okay, he <laughs> just said no. You're Come clicking in. too fast. It's fine. Uh, thanks, Pav. Yeah. Okay, let's them. let's open this chapter for a third time. Wandering doggy. Uh. Well, if I skip we it, it's just going to go to the end. Okay, we'll click disease. slowly this disease. time. No so we don't this, burn out the, 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 right. the, the, the CPU the or whatever. Fear of I mean, this part was fine. I think it just didn't inspired. count the new part. The, 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 the part was in there, though. Okay. She stands up. She's pacing around. However, Constantine's a smelly what bitch. You haven't realized the key element. Man is vindictive. No. The no. constitutes no. It's simpler it's than virgin. those. It's Burton. Change Burton's attitude. They get the foundation. The we know. We know. <laughs> she will that is to say. It's my Outside third time around here. You can say that. I know, Queen. You're not a Queen. You're an egg. PDM from early age. Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, so, so that's I think I joined someone with the argument. It's a mebo. <laughs> the door is pushed ajar. Let me actually make sure that my idea is going good. Let me reload that. I think that's fine. Good day, Madam Vice President. Greetings to all committee members. Okay, great. We have audio. Death. Everything's working goodly. Let's go. Hey, Mario. still in treatment. Yeah, she's still in treatment. I know combat. this part. I was in the yeah. middle of her asking ask uh, questions, questions before my power crashed. Based on your observation, do you or do you do, does, is she Does she like the foundation? Of, of course, course she's as loyal to the foundation and peace and shit. That's not what... Let's put it differently. Why, Why did she provoke the students? I, I, I don't know. I do not, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Wait, After I know. The I know. Of the storm, why would Virgin show reluctance to invite the unregistered arcane? Because, um... Okay, we saw this part. Okay. Negotiation with the All right, Virgin we were at this question, I think. What do you think her true intention was? To get information. I... That'll be enough. 
I believe we all have our answers by now. Well, she didn't get to answer any questions. She was just like, hey, in question one, question two, question three, you didn't have a letter breathe. Madam Vice President, uh, according to our investigation of the event in 1929 and Timekeeper's report, it is highly possible that Arcana of Manus Vindicte has the arcane power to influence the sanity and consciousness of others from a certain distance. Oh yeah, she was crazy. <laughs> That's the lady with the drippy drip coming from her head. She is able to exert an irresistible psychic influence on others through short conversations. Timekeeper... Timekeeper was under huge threats at that time. Yeah, she was shooting Schneider. All of her responses were out of her survival instinct. Yeah. This is also one of the survival strategies that have been taught in Chapter 1, Book 3. I'm the glad you remember exactly which chapter and which book that all of these procedures mankind. go through. I see. You may leave the room now. No, you invited her here. Sonata's eyes turn red. Is she angry? Is she high? What? Why do I see red? I... You can't defend her. We appreciate the information you just added. You've always been an excellent student. We are very proud of you. Well, uh, that compliment coming from you doesn't bode well. Now, it's time to leave and rest. No, I don't want to rest. Copy that. Go ride the tree to victory! She leaves the room as instructed. <sighs> that boy ain't right. <laughs> Everyone's breathing into the microphone. Silence fills the room. What a controversial issue. What's your view on this, Miss Z? Madam Z stands up. She takes her time before speaking. She really took her time there. Virgin does have doubts about current system. But doubts doesn't mean disloyalty. In fact, if we want to further expand the staff to contain against the Manus Vendicte, we need flexible management. Yeah. Apply customized standards to arcanists with different backgrounds and different training objectives. Through this, not only can we remove the doubts of virgin, Oops. but also ease the <laughs> I was scrolling down in my OBS to see the, the game audio. I was like, nope, you want to activate the log? Yes, you do. Okay. No. I like the birds in the background. Constantine squints at her. What'd she say? I was looking at the birds. <laughs> Customize, customize standards. Okay, it's just training thi changing things around. You've been very thoughtful. Yeah, too thoughtful. Now I'm gonna throw you into a pit. To carry it out then. Oh, okay. The stagronographer pauses out of surprise. She looks at Constantine, seeking confirmation from the look on her face. The stagronographer quickly regains her composure and starts typing. Pass. Pass. Sass. All right, we have a treaty signed. Oh, carbuncle time. It's noisy and aggressive. Hey, please leave the vicinity or we're going to beat the shit out of you. Uh, it's probably a kid here, buddy. Let the work begin. Oh, there's some about a hole. I wasn't looking. That's the Oh, I didn't mean to use that one. No, I meant this one. Uh, we'll breathe on them with we'll octopus juice. Don't worry, you won't cry soon. Flying handbag for only three thousand carpentons. Why is she trying to sell me flying handbags? What's her deal? Hang in there. Where, where do you come into play in the story? Take it easy. Oh wait, no. Wait, actually, yes, actually. Hand um, gently. actually. <laughs> Dad. Yeah, you can do that. Whatever. My child, here's something fun for you. Oh, a nasty wound is fun to you? You're sick. Viva il mio maestro. So true. I don't know what that means. The word. No, everyone died. All right, great. I got the money. Sailing at night. We're riding the seas of trees. Oh, is that Matilda? Huh. 
table de divination en argent. Are you locked in a room too? Oh, but you can be an ally. You can come on our tree. Yeah, I don't know what lunar materials you need. Frankincense. Ooh, incense made out of Frank. Yeah, you have all you need. Matilda immerses herself in the work on her desk. She's checked the installment of the curtains repeatedly, making sure the moonlight will precisely shed on the orb. Great. A low noise is growing from the vessel not too far away from her. Uh-oh, the trees are coming! But she has no clue at all. Okay, tout est prêt. Coupa en sens. Où est ma coupa en sens? So true, incense basin, she turns around! Ah! What? Oh no! The incense basin falls, making a hollow sound on the... So mock, what's that? A floor? Oh, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> a pair of pointy ears emerge from behind the basin. What are those? What you spawn? Divination spirits? The sprites? Oh, they're little thieves, aren't they? They're like pixies. But they kind of look like uh, Neopets. Her attitude doesn't bother these transparent creatures at the moment. They don't give a shit. They just want her, her basin. Unlike any ordinary creatures who always act in a group, one or two of them are more than enough to get people in trouble. Their thin, slim hands grab a hold of the edge of the silver incense base that they are flying towards the window. Uh oh, they're gonna steal it! You better catch them! They're taking it to the tree! You should go look at it and join them. She jumps up the windowsill and grips the other edge of the base and damn, you got a strong grip! Why did my monitor go black? Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh god. What happened? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What happened? Uh oh. <laughs> oh! My laptop disconnected. That's my second monitor. No, go back. <laughs> no, connect. I need it over there so I can see things. Stop it. Okay, that looks fine. <laughs> Ew, we're having so many issues today. Okay, I need to reconnect this. All right, we're connecting. I need to put all my shit back on my laptop. <laughs> my OBS, I need to see it. Can you hurry up and project? Why are you taking 3,000 years? Oh good, it's ready for use. Can I put this over here now? Um, hmm. OBS is successfully connected. What? What is happening? What the hell is happening? Um. Okay, fine, you're not Oh my god, what is happening? It won't connect! I'm not I'm dropped! Oh my god. Connect, just connect it! It's because my laptop wants to update and it's just fecking up now. Are you sure? Okay, no, you just wanted me to do it three times. Thank you. Thanks for wasting my time. Okay, now I can put this over here and then I can put the chat like right there for the third time. God, it's, why is it so thick? Let me get that. No? Yes, it's fine. Did that. And then put the Twitch. Connect that. Fuck you. Hopefully everything's fine. No, go over there. Why is it so long? It's distorted the size of everything. Bro. Get, just get. Oh my god. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw something. I'm gonna throw you out the window. You know what? The Chrome tab can stay on the main screen, on the main monitor. I just need OBS. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, what, what's you saying? Oh, the, th the thingies were stealing Matilda's shit, and they've also stolen my connection to my laptop. Fuck you. <laughs> I love that she's speaking French. <laughs> Recommended plant. Oh, I could try out Plant Man, I guess. I don't know oh, what he this does, is really. Groovy. Let's get on the road. <laughs> Helping Apple is the backup. I doubt I'll need him. Some differences between theory and practice. I guess you can have that. I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, you can have that. It's not good for you, but you can have it. Let the work begin. Oh, look at the little hands. They're so cute. The sprites will revive. Oh, feck. Try to attack them all simultaneously to prevent them from receiving large benefits. Okay, well. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I picked the wrong time to try and figure out man face. What do you do? Mass debuff, okay. <laughs> I'm attacking them equally. Look at these little guys. I am looking at them. Now they have less defense. Oh, I forgot that one. Attack both of them. It's fine. I just need to... Why are you dropping crystals on us? Stop it! You're a freak! Um, 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 yeah, do that. <laughs> and not do that, I guess. Please don't worry about me. taking my man. Don't worry, you won't cry too. Uh oh, uh oh, I need to uh, focus on you. Easy, portable. Can you stop dropping rocks on us? That's very, very annoying. And that's a mess, debuff, however. I'm gonna go out there, you. <laughs> oh no, I only have things that attack multiple people. Oh no, well. The resonance of bravery. It might be able to take out both of them. Oh, you fucking bitch. Easy, poor thing. Okay, fine. Um, I'll do hey, hey. last debuff. Oh, yeah. I'll Don't slap you in the face, and I'm gonna hope you can take that out because <laughs> your resonance is very low right now. Damn, hey, well, okay, girl. Oh, I guess it just. I, I may have misread the instructions. <laughs> Yeah, they probably re revive and after not death, but then I don't have to kill him at the same time. Which matters more, knowledge or strength? Yes. Damn, the silver basin falls to the floor, knocking the shallow crater on it. Oh, little dead face. Oh, the sprites are crawling under the window, looking flabby and weak. Apparently, they've taken quite a shock. Oh, that's so sad. Don't like them being flabby. <laughs> Matilda picks up a basin and wipes out the dust. <laughs> it's me! What is this, FNAF? Oh, that's music now! To be the bees. They burst out an incomprehensible curse, sneaking away from the window with drooping wings on their backs. Oh, well, you've been cursed for eternity. Uh, good luck living! I bet. You didn't miss a high tide. What's that mean? <laughs> Hurriedly, she starts to restore the order on her desk. Oh, like the t the moon and the, the moon controls the tides. I got you. I understand. 
Set the prop, set I'm good. Je ne dois pas me laisser distraire à nouveau. La divination requiert toute ma concentration et You're mon gonna énergie. You're going to divinate a giant tree entering your room at 3 a.m. However, there's a knock at the door. Oh, she angry. <coughs> la marée haute causée par la lune sera bientôt là. Voyons voir. Elle devrait commencer vers 20h45. 20.45. You have three minutes to go talk to this person. Je dois purifier la sphère occulte quand la marée commencera à monter. Si je veux que la divination No, you won't be able to divinate. Someone is knocking at your door. The knocking comes again. Matilda frowns. She's upset. Allô, allô. Calme-toi. Voici le moment clé. Qui que ce soit, je ne dois pas être distraite. Bon. Concentration. Concentration. Yeux fermés. Bien concentré. Imaginons mon corps montant et descendant au rythme de la marée. Béni par la lune. Elle se trouve de l'autre côté de la mer. Attendant que je la trouve. What are you talking about? Is that how you divinate? <laughs> voilà le moment de prendre. Pour the en incense! Sens. Apparaît dans la sphère occulte, sonnez! Matilda, are you there? Oh, you, you divinated Sonetto at your door! Mais, mais, quoi, 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 qu'est-ce qui se passe? Why are you blushing? Just let her in! She needs your help! I'm sorry, but I think I heard your voice. I, I need to ask you a favor. Uh, can you go attack him, Lady Egghead? Her voice sounds different, exhaust, and almost rusty. Ew, like, as if it were coming out of an old cassette. Well, she's behind a door, so that's my, probably why it sounds rusty. Uh, coming! Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute! No, you wait a minute! I'm, uh, busy! Uh, wait, 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 there are the patients! <laughs> yeah, put away her orb. In such a panic, she pulls up the silk and covers the orb and sticks them both in the corner of the couch. Uh-oh, don't sit on it! Hey, Sonetto, what are we doing? The door opens. They both stand inside the doorframe, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, blocking each other's way. As they awkwardly try to move, they go up and retreat in the same direction as if it were a Tangle tutorial. God. Where's the Tangle breakdown in the middle of the story? Like in movies when there's just a random dance number. <laughs> but they suddenly break out into a Tango. Matilda eventually steps back and lets Sonetto in. I've done that before. Not Tango, no, but blocked the door and couldn't get people out of the way. The bright and intelligent Mademoiselle Bonichon this time. <sighs> nice breathing. You know, forces a smile on her face. She's not smiling. She's frowning. Could you please read the future for me? Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, easy task. Just read it. Matilda sees something she has never seen before on Sonetta's face. A smile! Oh. This is very pretty. They sit down by the orb. Oh, you're just gonna do it? No questions asked? Okay. M mirror is quietly burning next to them. Is that the incense? Alright. Now it's a good time to ask the moon for help. Clean your hands in the silver pot and put them on mine. Okay, now sit opposite me and gaze into the orb. Look directly into the orb, Saul. You can see some swirly shit going on. Okay. She does what she's told. She sees nothing but clear whiteness in the orb. It's Are not you working! Here to confess? To interpret a dream? Or to seek the prophecy of the crystal. Uh, probably a prophecy. I am here to confess. And to seek the prophecy. What are you confessing? What sins have you committed? Tell me about the vision in your heart. What do you see? The vision? Hmm. There's eyeballs in my heart. She looks at the orb. The shape of the orb sphere that has become blurry and gradually fades out of her sight. Oh, damn! I see myself falling. Uh-oh. 
There are two broken decks. They were originally one piece. Decks? Like the deck of a, uh, on the back of a house? Every time I get closer to one deck, the other one sinks. Huh? People on it will fall with it. Are we on a boat? Do we craft a boat out of the tree? I can feel the coldness of the deep water and the pains when they struggle. Are you drowning? Are you sad about it? <laughs> Are you sad I... about dying? I feel fear. Well, I would be fearful too. <sighs> I see. Which deck would you like to approach intuitively? Can you recognize the people on them? Wait, there was a boat in the... Oh, I'm gonna call it Spiral Abyss, but I don't remember, like, like the like the dream sequence, the artificial something-somethings. There was a, a, a... the boat there. Maybe that boat? I... There is something bright on that deck. Just like Timekeeper and Druvis. It is warm there. They are very warm. They have blood throwing through them. You are attracted to it subconsciously. It guides the way of your heart. What about the other? The other deck makes me feel comfortable. As if I have spent a long time there. Uh, but you're falling between them. I can trace back every step I take. Perhaps that symbolizes your senses. Soneto. Are you having trouble making the choice? Yeah, she is! I can see the conflict between your instinct and senses. Oh, those are the two decks! It's not a literal boat! It's a figurative boat! I thought you attended the committee's meeting today. Anything happened? Yes. I said something wrong. No, did you? I was not properly prepared. I was unable to help Timekeeper and Druvis. Instead, I created a deeper misunderstanding. How was that a deeper misunderstanding? What choice should I make to resolve their conflict? Stalemate like that really scares me. Um, join them. <sighs> join the Timekeeper and Druvis. Get on that tree! Matilda can't find a word. Me neither. I can never find words. That's why I just repeat sentences in a different fashion. She sits there frozen, covering Sonetto's wrist with her palms. The bright deck seems closer and larger. Have you ever thought about following your heart? No, she's been following the rules for years. Now it's time to break it's free. Little. Maybe you can try following your instinct for once. She's been conditioned to not do that. Maybe something unexpected will happen. A truce, not war. I tried. No, try harder! Four years ago, I let them go. That was the worst decision I have ever made. Yeah, all those kids died. Yeah. Oh. Sonetto's hands are on the orb again. I am ready. Please tell me the right choice. <laughs> Not only did she let those kids die, like, she's traumatized the tri timekeeper. <laughs> okay. As the ca chaotic snowflakes disappear, the shape of the orb becomes blurry again. Crystals emerge from thin air. No, it's, it's from those little moth dudes. They're throwing crystals. One after another, they build up a symmetrical, imbalanced ship. Uh, asymmetrical. <laughs> Everything has its traits to be followed and logic to function. The reality has shown itself. It's a big ship. Take the path you have already taken. Walk the way you have already walked. You shall benefit from listening to the voice in your mind, as it is not yet time to dock. Don't anchor down your brain! Listen to the voice in my mind. Do it! I see. What's your mind say? I should not have hesitated. Thank you, Matilda. Your divination is very helpful. 
My mind is very clear now. I'm glad that was helpful. Yeah. <laughs> of course you should thank me. Yeah, you're number one divinator. You should have known the resourcefulness of Mademoiselle Matilda Buanish much earlier. Of course. For your information, those seeking my help must make an appointment at least 15 days before the divination. Otherwise, they won't even get to see me. <laughs> yeah, put them on the schedule. <laughs> oh, we're friends. Uh, why are you breathing? You were very serious during the divination. Even your tone was different from usual. Of course, it's important. You need to connect to the moon. You can't be silly during moon time. However, I am more familiar with the way you talk now. It reminds me of our time at school. Matilda stands there transfixed. Sonetta waves at her and walks out of the room. Thank you for making time for me, Matilda. Oh. If you need my help next time, please let me know. No, oh, so sweet. The door is carefully closed behind her. Oh, you blushing. You like being complimented by Zanetto. You like being needed by her. Are you swearing or are you just flustered? What is happening? It's okay, you can swear. It's alright, I understand. It's like when you meet a celebrity for the first time, it's like, oh fuck, it's Nick Cage or whoever. I don't know. A sweet apple! <laughs> the sweet and juicy ever wants to take a bite except me. I want to let him live. If Mr. Apple gets consumed, I will throw some hands. I will shove whoever did it into an oven. Apple chapter, very excited. Richard tends to oppose. Fake Richard. I don't care about Richard. Gloria tends to support. All right, Gloria. Agate tends to oppose. It was Black Agate. Also neutral. Okay. The situation doesn't look good. Oh, hey, delicate. You look like a doctor. Do you have any news, Mark? Mark. <laughs> Hello, Roy. It's me, Mark Applier. <laughs> Someone is spreading the minutes of your last meeting. You look nothing like Markiplier. Nice watch, though. Very square, just like you. You have a very square body, a very square head, a very square brain, very square glasses. I didn't get any direct evidence. Square hand, Apparently, square pants. The anonymous minutes. The topic about Vertin. It has become a great disadvantage to us. Oh, thank you. Mm. Hmm. I expected this. Double envelopment. A four four point double low approach. A four by four, four times four sixteen. No wonder that the draft goes through so easily. To reject the draft during the committee meeting does not actually address the real problem. The House of Intergradas can still resubmit the draft during the next legislative session. Damn, they got a whole justice system for so these drafts. For the long term. To bring down the voting stage and make it a plan that is totally abandoned. I'm afraid so. His nose looks scrunkled. A draft that just look at it. it. It's like goes up and down when he talks. There's a little mouth goes. Of course, it won't be submitted to the committee. He has a scrunkly face. She counts the names on the whiteboard again. I didn't listen to what he said. I was Did just making fun of his face. It's like a chessboard. Not yet. The minutes only change their preferences. I love the way his facial features just shook on his head. Still remains the same. Hmm. Just as I expected. <laughs> Whatever your plan, and it's going good, this I guess. It's not about Burton, but promise to the future, about how to balance the benefits between different interest groups. To reach that, we need to meet the expectations of those groups who have a need for flexible management. And also appease conservatives and not shake their confidence in controlling the overall situation. Actually, um, actually. <laughs> Alright, nerd, what? The delegate adjusts his tie and interrupts Madame Z in a clear voice. So, what do you have to say, nerd? We do have an opportunity to change the game now. <gasps> 
We can play checkers instead of chess. But that's terrible. I don't want to play checkers. Opportunity. I like chess better. Ooh, beep boop boop bop. Oh, hey, Peter Griffin. Oh, you're not Peter. Hank Hill. <laughs> Committee member of Hank Hill appears on the screen. I guess he does kind of look a little bit like Peter Griffin. A little bit. No, he kind of looks like uh, 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 Bob. You know, Bob Markiplier's friend. My Skirm, I think his name is. He looks like Bob. Just a bit. He's got that glasses and that same hair and the similar facial shape. I hereby challenge Delegate Mark Hall to a public debate on the revised draft of Storm Reformation, Manpower, and Discipline. Why are you fighting, Mark? This draft of his will bring unpredictable risks to the God, the reverb, whatever is going on with that, the voice. Ooh, that disagrees with my eardrums. I believe it is necessary to make such risks public in a legal way. What? All right, go fight. Go fight. Duel to the death. Get on like the horses with the javelins. The delegate switches out the projector. As he turns to Madam Z, he cheeks. His cheeks have become rosy and heightened spirits? Why is he excited to go fight Peter Griffin, Hank Hill, Bob, Scott Shelby hybrid? You want to accept this challenge? All the internal media are reporting the news. If I step back, they will <laughs> definitely humiliate His me mouth and is take so advantage tiny. of the public opinion to undermine the draft. And then it just widens when he's done talking. It's like it shifts up when he speaks. Mark. That's a menacing move. Mark is menacing. Look at the way his mouth reshapes on his face as he's speaking. Madam Z picks up Pedro's name card and sticks it to the board. It is coming for us. What, the storm? No matter or Pedro? Or flight. They have comprehensive preparation for this. Damn, we gotta re re refute the their their dialogue. The Just like a day at Europa, we're gonna enter a clash trial. But defense without attack. But merge that with chess, history, Madam Z. I've always wanted an opportunity to defend the draft in public. Concerning the questions they well, you can go do that. I've collected more than enough cases to refute them. Misleading questions twist people's opinions. It's time to tell them the truth. Yeah! Good job, Mark! Why is his name still delicate when we know his name's Mark? The gaze behind Madame Z's glass has become subably piercing. You have accepted it. Yes. I guess so. You're dragged into this. He's gonna die. Was it in front of the media? I was there when Pedra challenged me. So were the media. Well, I don't think it's going to be a complete mistake. The lady in white seems to loosen up for a brief second. She's the only lady in the room! Oops! She doesn't say a word. No, she's thinking, oh well, his funeral. But walks up to him and gives him a pat on the shoulder. That's a pat worth a billion pats. It's a crucial debate. Do your best. Yeah, don't fuck it up or we'll lose. And war will come and there'll be trees in your ass. Now, speaking of trees. You don't have to come along with me. Yes, we did. I'm here to repel the pests in the woods. It's part of my daily routine. Thank you for your kindness, Miss Drubis. Oh, the girlies are at it again, <laughs> clearing out pests. Miss Burton's suitcase, but I really feel like seeing the world out there. Well, we created this world. This is our jungle. By the way, the pests you mentioned, what are they? Carbuncles. I've heard of a kind of giant worm called the Tatsal Worm. They live in caves, about two to five feet long, and their heads are like cats. No, that's the Alaskan bullworm. Be very careful if you see one. Both its skin and breath are toxic. Uh-oh, -uh, don't touch it. Drubus bends over, lifting a, a hanging branch to make way for Sotheby to walk through. Oh, how kind. <laughs> I have never heard of such a terrible worm. 
Well, now you have. We will not encounter any. Uh, it comes up out of the ground in front of them. Sotheby jumps briskly over some roots crawling by her feet. <sighs> nice jump! So, what are we disinfesting this time? Uh, carbuncles and worms. Oak processionary moths. Perhaps a few gray squirrel cups. Oh, get these squirrels out of here! They're gonna consume the roots! Disgusting creatures. I've saw two squirrels today and they were chasing each other. Reason. Then I was kind of walking near them and then they Oak scattered. Here. In different and directions. Change with it. Animals that live in symbiosis. Fungi that depend on each other. All of them will embrace diversity by the day. Oh, you put your hair back up. It's no longer long and flowy and golden. Well, it is kind of golden, but not. It looked red in the in the CG. Sotheby suddenly looks up and points at the direction of the edge of the woods. Do you mean that? It's the worm I was talking about. A group of gray fluff is flying over there. It's a squirrel. It's sandy cheeks. She's doing karate and beating up SpongeBob. Rufus looks at the direction her finger points to. Oh, that's a tornado! Um, <laughs> clusters of fluff and gray and brown and coming together, forming a flossy tornado in front of them, flying, dance in the air. Who did that? Are the squirrels sending out tornadoes? A swarm of oak processionary moths. Oh, it's moths. Okay, it's not the squirrels. They're preying on something. Oh, a squirrel. The fuzzy figure in red at the center seems familiar. Oh no, the squirrel's bleeding! Miss Druvis, let's help out right away! No, oh, actually, let's uh, let it perish. We don't need squirrels on our side. Well, oh no! Oh, it's Mr. Apple! Oh no, he's stuck in the mods! We need to save him! No, they took him out of my party! Oh god, get in here! <sighs> Just as what's been practiced countless times. <laughs> Alright. Hurry! You, you. Don't look at me! Whatever, I'm you're just the, the backup. We this. need to help Mr. Apple right now. Move, so move. Sure. I don't care what the uh, the That's ideals that? are in here. Mm -hmm. You. I gently. I know the moon. And this is an alien city. Don't worry, you won't cry too! Hurry, kill them all! Hey, child, here's something fun for you. God. Oh, it bit our ankles! <laughs> Maybe it's laying eggs in our in our core. Um, I mean, you didn't get that. I didn't think it did that. I know the moon, and this is an alien city. Hmm, a little bit hot here. A little bit hot in here. Excuse me. I saw Take it easy. Oh, there's another wave! It's fine. No. I hate that I lose my cards. Oh no, it's Mr. Apple! We need to help him! I'll help you! I'm gonna send a whale out to come get you! The ocean dried and I'm alone again. Don't worry, you won't cry too! Oh, thank God we saved him! That's what you've got! Yeah, you did so well, Charlie. Thank you. <sighs> this apple is deeply grateful for what you've done. Oh, you're so welcome, King. I'm, I'm sorry I called you a squirrel. I didn't know it was you in there. I almost thought I was caught in a nightmare. This apple has never seen so many moths. I know, it was a bit terrifying. Come give us a hug. Oh, he's trembling from stalk to the bottom. Oh, oh no. Get him a blanket. Give him a hug. Oh. This apple is going to have PTSD from insects. Oh no, we don't want that to happen. They are very sensitive to the scent of sap. Oh, they like his sap. With all due respect, even among all the plants, Mr. Apple is quite attractive to insects. <laughs> He's just attractive in general. So it was the scent that attracted them. No wonder Mr. Apple's invisibility didn't work. No, oh, they could they could smell him. <laughs> Thank goodness we're here! carefully cleans off the fluff on Apple with her handkerchief. Oh. 
Until he restores his handsomeness. Yes! He's so handsome! Mr. Apple, did you find out anything? Ah, the Kadam is good as new! I something insignificant. As we planned earlier, I disguised myself and reached the <gasps> office building next to us. Oh, I guess the guy is There is a device to detect arcane power at the entrance. However, this apple pried out what we needed from the guards. I oh, beat the shit out of the guards and made them talk. God, we love Mr. Apple in this house. What? What is it? Did Miss Burton win on that voting list? Um. Sadly, not yet. We won't know the results till Mark has a debate with uh, Hank Hill. It's not time for a formal vote. Everyone is cautious and remains neutral. Apart from that, there are some rumors in the Foundation. They are not very favorable to Verton. That we need to spread some good vibe messages about her. Rumors. It sounds as though the situation that Madame Z handles is more complicated and volatile than I thought. Yeah, we gotta get cracking. However, the votes have not been lopsided under such bad circumstances. Not yet. Perhaps that means the Arcanists who share our aspirations are not in the minority. That said, I'm afraid we are starting a protracted war, Miss Druvis. Well, that doesn't sound good. We need to have a winnable war. Yes, I know. I've taken inventory of the supplies. We can still hang in there for four weeks and a half. Hopefully the tomatoes and potatoes have grown by then. Although they have cut off the water and electricity supplies in the building, we can still live on the resources in the suitcase for a while. Yeah, we don't need water. Oh no, wait a minute. If they run out of supplies and there's an apple right here, oh no, they better not. They better not be thinking what I'm going to be thinking that you might do if we run out of supplies. There are fewer guards destroying the woods. Probably because the Abydus works. What worries this apple is that if the procedure to finalize the draft takes more than four weeks and a half, we would... We, we won't survive. survive. By gradually shrinking our territory until Madame Z's draft is officially approved. We have chosen the thorny trail, and so we are destined to burn our boats and never look back. Exactly. We're gonna make more wood to make a boat and then burn the boats and show Martin. that's our symbol. She is worth fighting That's our for. signature. Oh, she is. For this point, Captain and this apple have absolutely no disagreement. Then this apple will keep scouting around for updates so that we could respond in time. Yeah, just like cover yourself in mud so you're not that you don't smell so good. <laughs> hmm? What'd you find? Sotheby's eyes are fixed on another direction. Who's coming? What are you looking at, Miss Sotheby? Oh, it's the squares. Oh, it feels like someone is staring at us. Um, um, who is it? They both look over to that corner. Uh oh, this is scary. <laughs> Nothing is there but shadows. The darkness like a pond of unimaginable depth. Druva stands up. Let's go back. What's not safe here? To the deep woods. The deepest part where no one will come in. The forbidden forest, if you will. Maybe you continued. Mm, things are heating up. <laughs> Whispers. Uh... Oh, nice gloves. And... <laughs> A letter. Well, which one? There's 27 letters. Up oh, is the council. Is this a Mark versus Peter Griffin, Hank Hill, Bob, Scott Shelby hybrid time? Yep, it's committee me me member, 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 member Pedro walks out of the changing room. What'd he change into? He sees Delegate Mark sitting in the front of the mirror and shaping his sideburns to su sharp summits with p pomade. Okay, good for you. I don't think he has sideburns. A tie blaze with the bright colors is around his neck. Isn't that scarf a bit too high profile? No, fuck you! Oh, maybe it is actually. <laughs> 
You look like a nerd. You look like a librarian. Mark stops his beauty procedures and looks at Pedro in the mirror. <laughs> I think it fits me just well. Yeah, it really brings out the walnutness of your eyes. Huh, you chose a gray shirt. Wise decision. <laughs> yeah, what well, full void of color. <sighs> That's blue. Looks like you're fully prepared. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna roast your drip. You get no bitches. <laughs> Mark doesn't answer that question. Instead, he pulls out a volume of files and starts to draw and write on them. And He's like drawing a dick. I can't hear you, debate monitor. Speak up. Graduated from the law school at the University of Sao Paulo. He is a member of the committee, and more importantly, well, uh, what's his face? Hank Hill's gonna have a be a tough opponent to fight. Pedro lifts the curtain and steps onto the stage. The other debater of the day. The, the other debater the fucking sucks. Mark. His name's Mark, and I guess he did some cool things, but nobody's as good as Hank Hill. The topic of the debate today: storm reformation, manpower, and discipline. Wow! Listen to everyone clapping. They don't. They probably don't even know what this thing is. But then they're gonna vote on it. Wow, this is a big auditorium. No one seat has been left empty around the debate stage. Really? They all look pretty empty to me. <laughs> Madam Z's eyes follow Mark as he walks into the lights on the stage with a big smile. At least he's having a good time. The people on stage are greeted with each other. Madam Z takes off her glasses and wipes them again. Damn, how many times do you need to clean those? The vote, the chamber is filled with- Oh right, god, okay, fuck, I don't get to read that. <laughs> Before we start the debate officially, I suggest we give Mark, the draft writer, an opportunity to introduce the draft. Yeah, that might be good. Summarize what, what we're doing, please. With pleasure. <laughs> we're playing Othello! And its advocators believe in such a goal. I haven't played Othello in a in long time. Environment smitten by the storm. It's probably not an Othello board. It's like the foundation win the I don't know what this board is. Number of arcanists. It just you reminded me of Othello the from the, the little in a more pieces. Efficient and stable way. That is exactly where I must raise an objection. No, I don't want the tragedy written by William Shakespeare. The I want the game. Risk, which Mark Hall has not realized at all. No, sir. I totally understand. No, what you're sir. To say. I totally understand what you're saying. You have put forward several questions. This is like that's like advanced Othello, but the cha the board is way bigger than the ones I'm seeing on the internet. In to that, please allow me to invoke the following and they have less tiles. to prove Burton's competence for leading the unregistered arcanists. Please turn to page 373 of Burton's personnel file. As you can see, since Burton became the timekeeper, the number of unregistered arcanists she has rescued so far is 63. Damn, that's impressive. That is a number unmatched by that of anyone present. If that's not enough to prove her loyalty, let's continue. <laughs> I have to say, Mark, you have completely misunderstood my point of view. Then what was your point of view? Stop putting your I tiles don't care down. What Burton has done but the feasibility of the draft. According to the existing regulations, the duties of educating and disciplining unregistered arcanists are taken by the School of Discipline. While you suggested in the draft that Timekeeper's personal teaching would replace the current collective training. Have you ever thought about the budget that we could possibly spend on it? Five bucks. The Foundation spends an alarming sum of money on education every year and there is no way we pay extra for personal training. Then we'll do it for free. Uh, what budget? I didn't even see what moved on the board. Um, I don't see why we're talking about budget all of a sudden. Oh, uh, uh, he sounded a little flustered Did there. really read the draft? I didn't mention a word about budget. Oh, it might be a point you need to consider. Of course you didn't, which exactly proves you have never realized the risk I just mentioned. Uh-oh. 
You found a oh, loophole. It seems the real topic of the debate has just surfaced. It's all about money. It's all it comes down to is money. The hall is looking forward to where it goes. So, Mark, in terms of this point, we would like to know your real thoughts. How are you going to spend our money? Where are you going to get it from? Hmm. And then they continue for three years. She gets up, walking towards the entrance. She's leaving. She knows that Mark is lost. This is already a composition which the white would like to see. The white tiles in the Othello match? The Blackstone is left there alone. The last move is also a defense in panic. If I were the player... Their debates are going like an Othello game. That's extremely interesting. She gazes into the air, lost in her thoughts. She doesn't feel the gaze cast upon her from another direction. Uh-oh, it's Egghead watching. Yep, how'd I know? Constantine is watching Madame Z from the corner. Oh, her corner. That's her special egg corner. As Madame Z walks to the entrance, somebody stops her. A white item is handed to her. Huh? And then... She disappears as soon as she steps out of the hall. Huh? Excuse me? Constantine averts her gaze, or her eyes, and looks back to the two debaters on the stage. Oh no, Constantine, what did you do to Madame Z? Where did you send her? Did you just kill her? As soon as she left the hall, Madame Z takes out the white note. Oh, okay, she- oh. I thought she got teleported somewhere. The, way it's, the wording made it sound like that's what happened. Oops. All right, she takes out the note. What is it? Senato asked me to give it to you personally. Oh, thanks, Sharon. It looks like a simple, usual letter. Just says B on it. Dear Madam Z, with this letter, I send you my best regards. Hmm. I have been instructed to manage affairs on behalf of Timekeeper during her treatment. Please let me know if there are any missions to alleviate the situation. I will do my best to meet your expectations. Oh, that's code for something. Sincerely, Sonetto. That's definitely code. Good news. Excellent! The plan's coming together! But the player's kept in the dark about it, so you're like, oh, What's going on?! but I can smell when a plan is hatching behind the scenes. And then in this chapter is gonna be like, oh, we're gonna flash back to what happened. Hmm, I'm just gonna keep them as in because I don't wanna change them. Bro, y'all need a backup. You have a suit on, you look like Robbie Rotten, but you're not, never be as cool as he was. Handle it gently. I know the man. This is an alien city. Go to hell! <laughs> Flying handbag. Yeah, I could put it on auto, and I don't have to think or do anything. I can just let the game do it for me. <laughs> if I mean, these enemies are like level two, and I don't need to think. Police is number. I'll carve it on your face. Well, <laughs> it's making some interesting choices. Easy. A sword shop. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. My child, here's something fun for you. Not that it matters, it's fine, he's dead. Pride goes before the fall. I've been there. You better take it. Oh, the, I'll take the pride, thank you. Their plan won't work, the trees don't dream. That's what the Lorax is for, he speaks for the trees. Oh, it's, it's something about artificial something. Flashing red. That's right. Apple is red. No, oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe Sonetto's the red one. Can we have more chapters with Mr. Apple, please? <laughs> oh. oh. You're also here? Who the fuck is this? Sonetto hears her. She stops the practice. What's she practicing? What? Yes. I am taking combat drills with the artificial somnambulism training system. Oh, is that what's on your head? Is that you? 
Lilia casts a sideways look at the screen in front of Sinetto. There shows her overall time length of practice. She's like, you've been here for nine hours. You need to go pee. Six hours. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was close. I'm not the only one goofing around. No, I'm not. I am not goofing around. No, it sounds like you are. You're avoiding something. Oh, you're blushing, so that means you're you're lying. I'm waiting for orders. Her face flushes scarlet. That's the red. Lilia initiates the machine in front of her, unaware of her awkwardness. Well, much luckier than me. Well, what's up with you? Tell me about so your day, Lilia. Bit Bakluche. Have you heard it? Literally me. The one who play hooky? Yeah, that's when you go touch the hooks, and then you ride them up and up and up, and you gently float down. I should have turned down the offer when they promoted me to the Foundation headquarters. They don't have any field missions for a flying witch. Oh yeah, you ride a broomstick. Is it because of the provisions of talent protection? I thought this said talent. I was like, the, uh, the evil organization from Overwatch? <laughs> Only God knows. No, oh, okay. House arrest, maybe a better name. Yeah, because you drink on the job. <laughs> she throws a casual glance at the screen. Look, since we're both bored to death, do you want to have a try at some difficult things? Yes, I love difficult Please. things. Is it chess? <laughs> when are we gonna play chess? <laughs> this. She pouts her lips, hinting at something which she thinks would, should be obvious to both of them. Have you tried artificial somnambulism joint training? Isn't that what she was just doing? Put on the helmet together and switch to multiplayer mode. Oh, multiplayer? Two operators can take on a harder training mode. More insane enemies. <laughs> you crazy girl. Like playing in the arcade. I love arcades. I'm just kidding. I've never been to one. Well, I went to one, but I didn't play any of the games. Okay, shall I turn this red knob? Oh, yeah, turn the red knob. She's a bit worried, not sure what to do. She has to imitate what Lilia just did. As she murmurs. Oh, and she murmurs. Hmm. What is an arcade? It's where we gotta play games! Well, you wouldn't know that. The floor starts to vibrate as the machine goes into function. The multiplayer mode has been initiated. Finally, they're gonna play Mario Kart. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, nice controller. Karasha, I'm entering the zone now. You go. You it's enter. A long time. Why not have some fun? I love fun. She quickly taps on some buttons, and a warning indicator on Sonetto's equipment suddenly starts flashing with a red light. The light is flashing. What did you press? Uh, the red light button. I switched to the hardest mode. <laughs> You better get it together! <laughs> Don't screw up or you'll actually die! But there's no time to wait. Two words in the big red font appear on the screen in front of them. Drill start! Don't fail me, top student. Alright, don't fail. This is a test! The helmet has cut off their vital fluids and diverts them to the pre-programmed battlefield. Excellent, their hearts have stopped. The operator's vision starts to about to change. Hmm. Uh, now change my people just for this. I'll bring you. Oh, it's level five. Okay. Well. Hey, yeah, y'all can come. Why not? Oh, look at the little spiders. Oops, I don't want to do that actually. And this gives power to thee. I mean, we'll probably one shot these guys. Almost one shot. <laughs> Uh oh, be poisoned! Oh, I still have one turn left. Okay, oops. A sword shot. Please. Did I not pick a third person? I thought I picked an assist. Somebody is an assist. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I gotta fight the soup! No, no, I, yeah, before. that's fine, actually. Yeah, what? Uh, <laughs> Each moment, now night. 
get rid of this gross ass soup. Nope, nope, it's still alive. It's very resilient to rocks. That's how you know you have a premium can when it doesn't get bursted when you throw rocks at it. Ow, okay, you crumble. Yeah, want to tag me? No, you don't. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. No, actually. I'm going to merge those, and then that merges, and then that makes three, you and then we'll do that, and hopefully that takes up the soup! So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Please, listen. Excellent, soup exploded. Oh, but now there's tonics. I hate tonics. Uh, let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna go after you, make sure you perish, and I'll do attacks of soup. Each moment, now night. The other day I had this, like, this tomato soup, but it was like a basil tomato soup. It was decent. It had some tomato chunks in there, which I hate. So I, 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 I fished them out. Got all of them away. Cause if there's anything slimy and mushy in the in the soup, I can't I can't handle it. It's just nasty. I believe in you. But For I got everyone. it. I know the moon, and this is an alien city. Nice, we beat him. Oh no, we then there's one more. Ah, it's the final boss. Hmm. I saw hmm. Oh, I still have my doodad. I could use doodad. Uh, let's oh, put a map up and then swirl them and uh, get rid of the puppet master. I know With a lot of hands. This is an alien city. Meeting. Sempre caro mi fu questo gole. Depict the world I have never seen before. Uh, hmm. A thought has been thinketh in my brain if, if... If... If 1929 has been destroyed... What does that mean for the members of the Venice Vindicte, or whatever it's called? Where's, where's Arcana lady? Where did she go? I'm sorry. And it's forget me not the dead. I am... Exhausted. It wasn't that hard of a fight, probably because I overleveled my characters trying to take oh, on the uh, artificial simulacre or whatever that's called. They take off their helmets, slumping to the floor together. You did it! You made a friend! Now they're breathing together in unison. Their gloves are soaked in sweat. Me when I wear gloves of any type. They substitute a monetary silence looking at each other. Oh, momentary silence. They burst into laughter in high spirits. Ha 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 ha. I haven't had so much fun for centuries. I'm glad you had a good time at the arcade. <sighs> that was the wheeziest laugh I've ever heard. How many times did we die? A zero. Sorry. I cannot do math now. That's a shame. I would love to do math right now. My mind goes blank. <laughs> Who would expect the Senato would have a brain fade? A brain fade? Uh, <laughs> not brain fart? Lilia falls backwards, lying on her back, staring at the white ceiling with a peaceful joy. Senato leans on the wall, exhausted. It was the fight of with verve and vitality. All the noises have been nagging at them for days now it seem to have disappeared. There are only breaths, the wind, and the smell of the concrete floor. What does concrete floor smell like? I guess it's like earthy. Have you heard the result of the debate? No, tell me about it. I heard that. The number of people opposing the draft significantly increased after the debate. Oh no, Mark fucked it up! Hmm. It's not going well. Soon will be the voting session. The opposition has taken the lead. We need to do something. I hope Miss Druvis can hold out. Um... Uh, she can hold out for four and a half weeks. You visited them? I submitted a request to enter that building. Well, just go, girl! The system arranged guards to accompany me to ensure my safety. They're not gonna attack her! The moment they entered the building, 
they started sawing the trees, saying that they need to carve out the path. Since then, I have not been there. Four and a half weeks. After that, they can't hold on for any longer. Oh my god. Really? In that case, the vote result has to come out before that. And it has to be in favor. We want it to be in favor, right? Sinetto's in deep contemplation. Hi. May the peace be with us. Hey, Saren. <sighs> what are you doing here? Hello. May the peace be with us. Do you mind giving us some privacy? Privacy? Do whatever you like. Yeah, it's like fun's over. <laughs> we went to the arcade, but now we're at the meaningful conversation with Sharon. They walk to the break room in the hallway. Here is Madame Z's message. Please visit her in the office on Friday. Oh, when's Friday? Uh, okay, copy that. Thank you for the message. You're welcome. With pleasure. Why did why did we have to go somewhere in private to do that? Why did Lily I have to leave? All right. She nods and places her hand on her chest. Wish you a good day. No, fuck you, Sharon. <laughs> Sharon leaves the room and with a quick trot. Get out of here. She knows I don't want her here. When Sonetta returns to her exercise equipment, she finds Lily is about to leave the room. Oh no! Are you leaving? Yes. <laughs> she didn't even spawn on the screen before she said yes. She picks up her gloves and a canteen, but hesitates. She pauses for a brief moment, then quickly turns back to Sonetto. Hey, wanna have a drink of my vodka, Sonetto? <laughs> Do you know how the penalties for destruction of public property of the Foundation and Brawl are determined? What? No, what's that? <laughs> huh? Well, according to measures of the Foundation for Administrative Penalties, based on the severity of the circumstances, Fines will be imposed, and the offender's salary shall be deducted accordingly in minor cases, while detention or expulsion shall be imposed in major cases. The penalty also depends on what is damaged. For example, production tools, household goods, buildings, equipment, and facilities, etc. These are the properties that involve less cost and limited influence if damaged. And the equipment that's like high on the high priority if of his damage. If people involved in a brawl is equal to or less than eight, and there are no major casualties, the penalty will be minor. Well, we've got four people in the woods, so that's fine. May I ask what happened? Why are you asking this all of a sudden? Nothing. As I said, bored to death. Uh, so you're just asking questions for the fun of it. Hmm. So now you're planting seeds of thought into our brain. Regulations. Even the flying manuals failed to win this much of my attention. She waves at her and leaves without looking back. Bye, Lilia. So long, Sonetto. Hopefully there's good news for us next time I see you. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> Alrighty. Up oh, September 16th, it's been three days. Is it Friday yet? Good news, 10 more moves to go. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. All or nothing. <laughs> we are falling behind even further. Yeah, you're, it's, this is all your fault. You didn't around. think about the budget, Mark! That's like the first thing you should think of. How are you gonna make your proposal work? And then just be like, oh, we should just rely on Virgin and blah, blah, blah. No! You need to think logically! The move. The move Why didn't you catch his mistake? Useless. Move to D9 was indeed useless. Uh, yeah. The arcanists that were on our side have defected. Well, whose fault is that, man? I misjudged the situation in the debate. Yeah, you suck. I was going to seize the opportunity and the initiative. <laughs> Not you! She doesn't respond to him, only pacing back and forth in the room. She's I'm angry with him. Initiative. Are you gonna seize the initiative? May perhaps the chance. What are you planning, girl? Oh, you got the Othello tiles on the space. <laughs> 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 
38 lines to go across the board in a horizontal vertical direction, crossing one another in 361 intersections as orderly as the stars. That is to say, don't pull back. Don't jump. Even when they're attacking. Stay rooted, just like the trees. But to focus on the bigger picture. To win strong positions. She seems to have sudden flash of insight and reaches out uh, one of her hands without being aware of doing so. The black tsuke. Then the white hane. Are you calculating your next hane. move with the Othello? The white stand. The black osai. Yeah. What'd you find? Through these moves. I see. You see what we need to do? Is that your power, Othello? The move to D11 can save us more than 10 Mokov stones. Excellent! We can still win within 10 moves. Uh, can we go back to, like, chess instead of Othello? <laughs> I understand chess way more than Othello. Yes? Are there any other things we can do? We gotta go to D11! We need an influencer. A leader who can win us more than 10 votes. An influencer? A markiplier? <laughs> Give me the file of the uncommitted leaders. Including those who were neutral about this issue in the beginning. Okay. He seems perplexed, but quickly retrieves the files and starts browsing them from the chair. The room is still completely silent except for the slight noise of flipping pages. Oh, that's such a nice sound. Boz. Barzell. No. Too young to be convincing. All right, fuck Barzell, I guess. Noni, head of the Natural Resource Committee. Noni. There are only three of them in the group. Center Bernard, leader of the Man. Mankind Caucus. Get it. Yeah, he sucks. Bernard. Fake Bernard. Ah, oh, yes. He can okay, we like Bernard. He is eloquent. And He's got a nice Bernard. egghead too. All of the eleven are his loyal followers. Why is he uncommitted? I thought he would be the first to vote. Maybe he's not actually Bernard and it's his twin brother, Denard, and he's evil. Perhaps they believe it's a sure bet. Find out what he's been up to. But Investigate his private him. life. Are you sure you want to cooperate with him? This doesn't make any sense. We don't even serve the same group. Well, just do what you're told, Mark, because you obviously can't act on your own. Mark, we're all serving for the Foundation's future. I just want to know what he needs now. <sighs> he needs a tailor because he ripped the his pants. Chicago, US. Chicago? He is trying to cover that region with his influence. Uh, that's where the, 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 the warden things happened. Bernard believes the employees there are guilty of serious dereliction of duty. They discriminate against humans of different classes and are suspected of committing electoral fraud in collusion with the local capitals. The Supreme Court's investigators have already intervened, but they cannot go out due to the storm right now. Oh, is the so storm the coming? Or is it... No, the storm already came, but is there another one? Chicago office. Damn, Chicago getting hit twice by them storms. Rip. I see. Great. Well, I guess it's just happening exactly everywhere. Help with. Not just in, like, specific... Locations? When the era ends, does the entire world get wiped, or is it just like certain places? Through what? Through Sonetto. I have a meeting with her on Friday. Oh, it's not Friday yet. This may lead us to a win win situation. Alright, get Bernard on our side. Bernard is the key. Sonetto is also a key. Two keys to open the same lock. It was Space Needle. Nobody's in here. Don't waste. I'm pressing the button. What does that do? Oh, it's more things. Okay. Anyone offer your seat to the senior? Uh, offer my seat to a senior? No. I I'm just gonna let it do what it wants. <laughs> I doubt I have to do anything brain heavy here. Well, let me get rid of my Othello tab that I've got open. I'm reading. For everyone. Uh, my child, here's something. I, I guess it. 
try for free. He used to play oh, Othello, hey. and it, it came in this like little briefcase. Hey. And we like jump across so the, nice. the like the brim of the briefcase to get to the other side and get our tiles into the, the our home. <laughs> ha. That's what you've got. Huh? I have to look at it again because I don't remember. Well, victory! Victory screech! What's over here? What is that? Oh, is it narrator coon? I just woke up, what happened? That was a good sleep, dude. Thanks. You drooled everywhere. That's gross. Glued my eyelids. Why am I drooling on the narrator? You didn't expect there to be so many complicated No, I did it. The foundation is a mess. Yeah, it's we're it's pretty crusty in there. With the, the flying squirrels and the mods the and the trees. Those arcanists who And the smart people doing things. Voting. You see, the undercurrents, however, are still uh, uh, We gotta get Bernard to come to our side. You see. And we divide you them. Need to divide them. And I need to vomit on the living room divide. floor. That was a short message from Narrator Coon. Uh, thanks. From the ashes. From the ashes. Who says that? Somebody says that. In that exact way. Oh well. <laughs> like a phoenix. Best wishes for the upcoming victory. What are you celebrating for? It will be the final vote soon. It's a stunning victory for us. Cheers! Cheers! May the peace be with oh, us. Oh, it's Bernard! We, he needs to come here right now. The group is fully immersed in the joy brought by the collective glory. You're in a bit mood. <laughs> Madam Z, gross! Z? Oh, you didn't sound happy to see her. You must be in the wrong room. No. You can't find those friends who tell Balderdash here. Balderdash? Baldur's Gate? Bernard stops him with a wag of his hand. He pushes his way through the crowd and comes up to her. What brings you here, our honorable committee member? May I have a word with you, Bernard? Yeah, can you uh, sway the vote, please? Let me check my watch again. Hmm. It's three in the afternoon. I don't think I've drunk that much. Well, you shouldn't be drinking at 3 p.m. Could you repeat that again? <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm fucking blasted out of my brains. <laughs> you want me to canvas for you? Yes, Bernard. To be more precise, to form a partnership. My, my. What a creative idea. But what would be in it for him? What can you offer? Yeah, exactly. Not supporting <laughs> such a stupid draft next time? No. Or recruiting new arcanists for our caucus? What about a witness for the case of Chicago office? <gasps> oh, witnesses! I love witnesses! He instantly frowns. He's upset. Who is it? Give me the name. No, join us first, then we'll tell you. I will. If you collaborate with me. I'm just guessing what they're gonna say next, because that makes the most sense. Or talk to me with a better attitude. Yeah, stop being drunk. <laughs> I'm sorry. You better be. Our philosophies have always been different, and that led to prejudice. But being mysterious won't show us sincerity for each other, right? No. A staff of mine is willing to testify as a witness. Her report can prove your point. Strong enough to prove their negligence? It depends on the special prosecutor. But the evidence is strong enough to prove that you're innocent from setting up others out of your personal interest. Hmm. <laughs> you know my secrets. <laughs> he can't help breaking into laughter. It was a tiny little laugh. Looks like you've got your own little bird. 
The management there sucks. They don't serve humans or arcanists. They're just puppets manipulated by money. I want to bring order back to that place. I will have order. <laughs> I'm not processing what he's telling me. <laughs> you got evidence. Great job, yes, King. The most ridiculous thing happened. In the second week after I submitted the investigation application to the Supreme Court, the evidence was gone. What'd you do with it? You stole it. My men found their charred pieces in the garbage room. Someone threw them into the shredding incinerator. Oh, they destroyed the evidence! It was like I could do nothing but surrender. Well, you didn't have a copy of whatever got destroyed? You have a wolf by your ears. I understand. <laughs> yeah, and the wolf is me. I burnt the documents. <laughs> Bernard takes a deep breath and starts to talk again. <sighs> But you're asking for too much. No, you. Eleven votes. We're on the opposite side. I can never persuade all of them to vote for you. That's fine! Then we'll get another person! Besides, the court session of the Chicago case starts later than the final vote. Don't tell me you want the service before you pay for it. Yes? Don't worry. You can vote after testifying. How are you going to do that? <laughs> I'm going to disrupt the entire system. I will do what I can in my power. No guarantees, though, so... Star so soon. He raises one eyebrow. I can try for nine votes, or ten, for the appreciation of your political resourcefulness. Everyone here is a politician. <laughs> It's like when politics start to happen, my brain's like, ooh, it's just like slowly turning off. But now she's got her hand and, and waiting in front of her. <laughs> good luck making a better Chicago office, Bernard. Yeah, good. Go for it, Bernard. I, we successfully exchanged information, I guess. He didn't get the name yet, but we'll give it to him. Is that tennis? Are we playing table tennis or ping pong? Yeah, I want to play tennis. I'm not good at tennis. I'm good at it, uh, chess. <laughs> There's no chess board. Let's play chess. <laughs> Unlike the other days, Constantine isn't by her desk today. She's probably sitting in Madame Z's office waiting for her to come back <laughs> to jump scare her again. The lights in the room stay off. She has been, she had her back to the door, f fancying the window. Daylight slowly permeates into the dark room, into the rigid marble worm bowls. There's Pedro. Come in. I'm here to report the situation so far. Mm, you're playing the chess game of death. Some neutral parties have tilted in favor of the draft. Yes, it's Bernard. How many? Ten. Not a lot of them, but enough to make the votes even. Oh, okay. They have always pursued revolution in the Foundation. It looks like Mark has finally persuaded them. Oh, Mark did something useful for once? I heard Miss Z has been working hard on canvassing, too. Canvassing Bernard! Oh, Constantine angry at that. But the number of the conservatives remains the same. We don't have to worry about that. I believe we will still prevail in the final vote days later. No, you what won't! About the other groups? Still functioning as usual. Nothing special. By the way, Bernard and his men paid a visit to SPDM. I didn't get to talk to them. Why not? She turns back to face the window, hearing Bernard's name upset, sir. Thank you for the report. <sighs> what was that? Are you constipated? She's never been so persistent. Well, she's doing the right thing. Do you know why she's been so different this time, Pedro? Because it's the timekeeper. <laughs> and how would he know? He's just some random dude. On the sports field, or playing some basketball. I didn't you had time to invite me to play table tennis. Or are you actually here to lobby, Madam Z? Oh shit! <laughs> We're outside in the stadium to play table tennis. 
Back then, when I was a student, I'd often invite my classmates to play ping pong after we left the laboratory. I was good at ping pong. Emphasis I was. A cold shower after getting soaked in sweat is a piece of memory I can't forget. Well, I'm glad that was a good time for you. <laughs> you remind me of the old days in the table tennis varsity. Oh shit, she was on the table tennis team! You're the only one I can practice with here. Serve it, Madam Z. <laughs> Serve it, slave! <laughs> oh shit, it's Blastman 2014! <laughs> Hello, welcome to the chat! How are you doing today? It's been a minute! We're playing Reverse 1999 and we're gonna destroy this lady in table tennis! Let's compete. Oh, it's such a nice sound. When the, ta the table hits the tennis. <laughs> I guess we have to fight her then. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring these people, sure. What the fuck is that? That's not the table nor a tennis. Our teammates are not... whatever. <laughs> I don't need to read. Handle it gently. For everyone. So what is this? Let me let me look at it. Oh, I guess it's not my turn to look at it. Oh, it's got oh, it's not doing nothing. Oh, we have our own table. Oh, why does that have a clown face? Whatever. <laughs> Let's do some of this and put that there to debuff you. This is an alien city. Well, how do you feel about rocks? Depict the world I have never seen before. Take it and easy. Whatever that does. And cosmic Ooh, swirling? Now night. Uh -huh. But that's fine, because our table will tennis goodly and it will bounce right off. Ha! We have the upper hand! This is such an intense table tennis match. Oh yes, we'll inflict nasty wound and we'll put some more cosmic shit on there. Flying handbag for only three thousand paper aunties. Stop trying please. to sell me handbags, Eternity, please. I don't want them. Okay, we've won. Yes. We're right. so good at table tennis. Oh shit! She took <laughs> off her big goofy Man, jacket! Great, great. A backhand chop, is that a table tennis turn? She nimbly picks up the white ball and bows. Again. Ready to go. Yup, oh, initiate another fight. <laughs> nice shot. I could listen to the sound of the ping pong ball hitting the table all day. Madam Z strikes. The little ball flies over the net with an extremely low parabola and goes into the unguarded corner of the table. Uh oh! Katz turns her body to one side, striking the ball back confidently. We're planning oh, now they're gonna discuss politics while they're table tennising. <laughs> we love to see it. Which articles? Oh, I was checking something. Oops. Wait. Okay, yeah, so, okay. Uh, what articles? The articles about strengthening the, articles the core about troll strengthening of the registered arcanus, obviously. Arcanus. Definitely didn't read what she was saying. You're right. We do need to improve the credibility of the foundation in the outside world. Uh huh. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me in a long paragraph, please. The timekeeper's power to discipline should be transferred back to the school of discipline and the foundation. I'm getting distracted by the sound of the ball hitting the table. I'm not focusing on their words. I'm trying the so hard. Will the unified risk assessment on Arcanist. Unified assessment rank. To ensure this team is always under control. Uh, yes. <laughs> but in fact, it still belongs to the timekeeper, right? Yes! That is our minimum requirement. 
and you will not change. It's the one condition you cannot remove from the draft. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't expect you to compromise. Oh. It's not a compromise. It's a reasonable amendment to the draft. Oh, it's like going Just back and forth in an argument, like going back and forth in a tennis match. The symbolism is on point. And you would even lobby an opponent, me, for this amendment. Oh shit, this is getting intense! Be just because it is raised by a different faction. The foundation needs solidarity, not contradiction. If the draft is meant to pass... Oh, it's I even hitting the beat of the song, kind of! Oh, that was not, it's gone so fast, they're like so intense! Friendship first, competition second. Legislation! <gasps> Shall serve the oh people. shit! I don't know if that's how gravity works, but that was cool. Vote, Madam Z, we won the table tennis match. <laughs> a vote is not the only thing I need, cats. I need your friendship. To be continued. That was a cool scene. <laughs> Who knew table tennis could be so exhilarating? What is this? Let me click it. Ping pong. Ping pong. Thanks. Ping pong. Ping pong. Ping pong. Oh, it's not as good as the ping real thing. An imitation pong. show. Yes. An imitation. Yes. You're imitating the Messiah. While I'm imitating an orange ball made of plastic. Well, the ball was white, so I don't know what you're imitating. Being pushed back and forth by two rackets. Yeah, wrinkly I skin. Have... Oh. I did what say, oh, yeah, I'm in the same condition. Ha. Look at your frowning My face. skin is also saggy your and wrinkly. From like you. To the nose tip. That sounded People like a beat. <laughs> those light furrows. But the boots now, with the fur? I'm not listening to what you're saying. Not the thing that matters. Well, maybe for someone it is, but still, it's not. Ah! You know what really matters? The game. The game. Yes, it's the game. Of course the game matters. Where, where, but the game that matters is the chess, Everyone and I've seen a very game. lack of chessness. Gather, we, we got Othello, we got table tennis, him. but where's the chess? It was mentioned once. Fan and spend good money on a team uniform or an autographed ball. Yet, it's just a ball. You see where I'm coming from? No, I re went on a spiel about something just that I can't remember. It's outlined oh, geometry! I still have my geometry, geometry textbook, textbook from when I took geometry class. Picked up a coconut and threw uh, it we're picking up coconuts now. We're gonna look at the parabola and that it, it makes when it lands. It and threw it again. The Maybe uh, two, two times X? Become so complicated and enchanting. Complicated and enchanting, just like parabolas. <laughs> Damn, narrator well, Kuhn loves sure, parabolas. So, so do I. They're so fun to deal with. Think about this ball game carefully. No, I don't think about parabolas. The complex. But when you throw a ball, you could make an arc, which it could be considered a parabola if it hits the right conditions. The countless possible foul. What matters more is, like every ball game. It's focused it's on hitting it. You're talking a lot. The last one you came to me and said a lot of way. small things, but now. And now you're pinging pong. and ponging. Stop the it. Will last forever and ever until that bouncing little thing falls to either side of the court. You're right. <laughs> oh, look how cute the ball is. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's this? I pick up the racket. Oh, I'm fighting things. I'm picking up a racket. Oh, I gotta bring a beast character. Come here, Poppy. Where are you at? Uh, let me see who will be my poor. Let the work begin. Yeah, you go for it. <laughs> Have ham at play. it. I put it on so auto. Nice. It stays on auto for these it's types of fights. Here's something fun for you. Oh, yeah. Get that guy in the back. He sucks. Back him in particular. He's the first one to perish. That's I believe in you. Police's number. I'll carve it on your face. Don't worry, you won't cry too. Sempre caro mi fu quest'erba cole. Pride goes before the fall. I've been there. You better take it. All right. <laughs> I like zoned out for that battle. I'm getting a little uh, brain leakage happening. Oh, but I got my clear bops. Give me my clear bops. Yeah, fifty of them. 
Oh, I th we're close. We're getting close. We're close. We're close. I needed to continue that sentence, but I just kept repeating, we're close. We're close. <laughs> All right. I think there's like going to be like three chapters left, I assume. We got to get the vote, and then something bad's going to happen, and the trees are going to enter the pee hole, and now we're going to win. Days later. Come on, Mark. Work your magic. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Chairwoman. Oh. Chairwoman kind of slays down there. Ooh, can we see a full sprite of Chairwoman? I don't want to see Constantine's egghead. I want to see this, this lady. <laughs> Constantine sitting behind the rostrum. Looks up. She takes off her reading glasses and closes the book in her head. Has the voting started? What do you think? If you, you were see, paying attention, you would here know. Is the number of votes I have estimated. The pro drafts will lose by five votes to their opponent. No, you don't forget our bet. What'd you bet? The one who loses will pay for the new stamps. Oh, oh, oh. paying for stamps. So much money. The final vote is not today. I'm afraid. Oh, you look shocked. They're complacent. Oh, she has a complacent look on her face. See, speech is still ongoing. She's gonna keep talking for like five days straight to prolong the voting. She's just started the part on Article 3, Section 5 of the Rules of Procedure. Oh, fuck! But the speech has already lasted seven hours. Oh my god, girl! Is your throat sore? You need some water? You need some drinkies? Even some delegates have left. Uh, what? She smiles, surprised. You didn't put that in your calculations. We played Othello. You're over there playing chess. A filibuster? You're a filibuster. I'm gonna bust it. Yes, <laughs> what? Katz's speech will be right after that. Oh, nice. So I guess the final vote won't start until tomorrow. Ha! Huh. Look at her scowl. That won't make a difference. Delaying the vote won't change the result. No, I could convince Chairwoman to come to our side. Constantine sighs and shakes her head smallly. I don't know yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect that she would be trying so hard. But for me, this is not necessarily bad news. Why? Are you gonna like play it an assassin to go go uh, go attack her? The filibuster will only have two outcomes. Uh, your loss and your loss. It is either one of the parties wins over two-thirds of support and gains victory. Or both parties get stuck in a tug-of-war. Or a table tennis match! If this tug-of-war doesn't end with a clear outcome, the Storm Reformation will end up completely dead and forbidden to be discussed within five years. Yo, that's a weird rule. Okay. If, the, if there's a tie for something to come to being, then you can't talk about it. Fine. Oh, it's tips. really weird getting too high no someone trots over from the doorway as he comes up to them he bends over so only constantine can hear him madam vice president what mr president came back from the pax house <laughs> mr president <laughs> get down mr president uh-oh uh, you're in trouble go play chess with him Ruh -ruh -raggy. It has been over a year since they last met. Um, the lack of music makes it sound like it's not going to be a good meeting. Constantine quickly trots over the hallway. The window is clear enough to give a reflection. She stops and fixes her collar. Her big, thick collar? That's not going to hide her weird neck. The door's left half open. Mr. President. Oh, shit. <laughs> They, they have a cool silhouette! Good day to you, sir. May the peace be with us. Huh. May the peace be with us. Can we see your face? Are you feeling better these days? Is he sick? I can still hang in for a few years. Oh, it must be old. Are they doing all right? Who's they? Just as usual. Nothing to worry about. I'm worried. Are you talking in code? He gives Constantine a small wave in the shadow. Why is he hiding in the shadows? Does he not does he not want her to see like how decrepit he's become? What if 
What if he's actually dead and he's a zombie, but he doesn't want anyone to see his complexion? She walks up to him. Ah! I'll stay in the foundation these months. Okay. You do that. The agenda is well arranged. Okay. There is something more important that I must tell you in person. What? 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 Constantine nods and bends over to listen. What'd you say? There's something either about a liar or a lion. Which is it? The shadow of the president casts on her. Amen. The hand is warm? The rusty, feeble words are difficult to catch, but the meaning of every word makes her eyes wide open out of shock. What? About the hand being warm? What? What'd he say? This is their judgment. Did, did you lose the vote? Yes. Then I have no objection to it. Are you sure? You look upset. She's slow. <laughs> She trots backwards two feet. She slowly resumes standing, then she retreats a few steps, almost falls onto the floor. Damn, girl, way to hide your, your, your frazzledness. Hold tight, my friend. No. She supports herself up by the file cabinet. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I was just lightheaded from the lack of chess I've been playing. I have to admit, I was surprised. Yeah, something shattered your eggshell. Thank you for telling me this. No, you. <laughs> what did he say? I need to know! Now it's getting crazy. Things are starting to pick up! There's so many stages. Up oh, is this narrator, Kun again? Look where you are. Paulina also once stood here. Who is Paulina? <laughs> A human. Okay. She started Why do I care about Paulina? 33 steps and a Why half. was she like? <laughs> Human-like. Okay. She was digging in the files. Good for her. The only touch of bright color on her was across her neck. A blue polka dot scarf tied in the French way. Okay. The scarf was there to cover up a nevis on her skin. What's a nevis? A lonely dark spot that lacks a symmetric counterpart on the other side of the neck. Oh, is it like a mole or something? A to exist. She did not like it. We hate nevises. It was the 1931 file, or the 1935 Nevis one. is a birthmark or a mole on the skin. Especially a birthmark in the form of a raised red patch. Okay. On December 28th, 1932... On the wonderful day of the holy oh, no. Thirsty Arcadus attacked the crowd. They claimed the oracle had uttered to them. Uh oh. From, so they took their wands and knives, carried bottles of potion of concocted picric acid. Oh, that sounds terrible. They're gonna pour acid on happy people. Their attack led to 17 deaths. Well, yeah. Six were injured, among which four were disabled for life. Oh, that's not good. Why did they do that? One young girl among the attackers couldn't physiologically stop her hysterical laughter. Even when she well, was Oh, that's a arrest, bit dark. Why are you telling me she this? She convulsively. She kept muttering the word Bacoti. I don't know what that is. Way to call the Cordia Illinoides among the lumber dealers. In the Aztec civilization, it means giant mouth. Oh, well. Any mouth can talk. In this case of mass hysteria, this was the one true rule. Hysteria, madness, paranoia, hearing voices or seeing things. These abnormalities are the sparks flying in the air, and arcanists are like dry cotton. The encounter of the two will cause a fire. All right. <laughs> oh, and I complain quietly. She accused the danger of fire, the risk of heat. She says no the fire. She started to mutter something of a more extreme nature. She was carried away, forgot that each individual has their own right even in a collective body. Right. Racist thoughts crept silently into her blonde hair. Oh, well, that's not good. Like a cunning centipede. Oh, centipede, well. Fortunately, this is not She has time to change. Change. Yeah, then get those centipedes out of your head. 
pay for prettier white clothes, drive around in a limo painted in bright pink. Oh, what are you, Barbie? And That's gross. Who of you would drive around in a pink life. limo? What is wrong a with life you? so bad that every weekend you that have nowhere about a to dog. go. <laughs> the change of Paulina started from a question. A senior staff of the foundation. How are you gonna deal with the fire? The I'm page, not. I'm just gonna drive my pink limo around. Blah blah blah. The supportive measures and the record of. He's the saying so many words. I'm sure I'll read it all later. The last two pages. I can find it in a gallery a somewhere. Oh, well, smiley names, face. The fire is always there, Paulina. You need to live with it. Keep them somewhere safe. Like a high shelf. When they keep saying Paulina, it reminds me of this one song this that I listen to. It's called Sleep is for the Week by the Dreadnoughts. And there's one line that's like, Walter with Paulina. And that's all I can think about when he's talking. About hate. Young Paulina had changed. <laughs> yeah, she's the Drops waltzing. Tears seep out from the bottom of that pair of beautiful green eyes. Uh oh. I shed tears. Oh, with she her. said. Nevertheless, okay. where you are. All right, I'm standing where Paulina stood. Oh, is that Paulina? Wow, she looks so gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, road of a puppy. Well, they keep calling Sonetto puppy-like, so I guess this is her road. Unless Pickles is magically here for some reason and he's gonna help us sway the vote. <laughs> As witness? Yes. Your report means a lot to him. Who's him? I... I can provide the report, but I have no experience in court hearings. If I say something wrong, will it affect the special prosecutor's decision? Yes, absolutely, so don't speak wrong! That's an unexpected question. Madam Z's voice turns gentle and soft after the momentary lace of speechlessness. <sighs> no. Sonetto. Testifying is not taking exams. The court doesn't need a skillful witness. Just honestly tell them what you saw. Focus on the point, and don't distort the facts. When you distort the facts, then they'll come for the jugular. The Supreme Court, they value the sense of justice of the youth. Do they? <laughs> sense of justice. Justice will be served. A noble quality you have. I will do my best, Madam Z. And don't fuck it up. Is it court time? The meeting room. Call the witness. Uh oh, special prosecutor. Entangled by the crowd, Sonetta walks into the court. Did Madam Z finish her speech? <laughs> In front of her, the special prosecutor has an almost godlike Solomon on a look on her face. Greetings. May the peace be with us. No. May the peace be with oh us. Oh my gosh, she's so pale. God damn. It's like a light bulb with hair on it. It came into the room. <laughs> oh, those, is this Paulina? No, that her eyes aren't green. Sonetto, as informed by the subpoena, you have been called forth by the accuser, Bernard Wilson, to testify as the witness in court. What's Bernard accusing you of? By the relationship between you and the accuser. No, I've never met him before in my we life. We do not know each other. I heard of him at work, but we rarely work together. Then why did he call you? I don't know. <laughs> I was one of the parties involved in the 1929 storm incident. I submitted a detailed report of that. He searched the database and found the report. So he made a request for access to my supervisor, Madam Z. Then, Madam Z asked if I would be willing to provide the report and attend court as witness. And that's what you did. The reason why you agreed to testify. Because Burton is my best friend. I... My immediate supervisor is having a long-term treatment, and there are more time slots available on my schedule. I am happy to be able to make a difference during the time and defend the established facts. More importantly, <laughs> more importantly, let me twirl my wand and intimidate you with my rocks. Uh, was that a DVD player? Sonetto musters her courage and prevents a box of files on the desk. I personally believe that there is still much room for improvement for the Foundation's office in Chicago in the United States. Oh, nice. And that has the name of whatever Bernard wanted in it? The special prosecutor seems slightly surprised. What is this? They start glowing even more. 
This is a record of all my travels from the time I received the promotion order in the research center to go to the office in Chicago in the United States, to the time I went back to the headquarters of the foundation when the storm came. This is the field report and diary I wrote about the storm in 1929. What point do you make? <laughs> Nothing. I'm gonna read the entire 12 chapter pages that I've written. I would like to prove that the Foundation's office in Chicago in the United States violated the declaration, fight for the peace and order of mankind, and the rights of some humans and arcanists. Oh shit! You're tarnishing our reputation! Uh, calm down, doofus McGee! <laughs> Somebody leaps to his feet on the other side of the table. He is the assigned director of the Constitutionary, the defendant of this court. I request a debate duel. I won't allow her to distort the truth like this. Well, your truth is distorted, just like your audio. Mr. Seth, I haven't checked these Seth. files yet. Silence, please. <laughs> Order. Your Honor, you can examine the files one by one while we're having the debate duel. That she can't hear what y'all are saying if she's reading. I can't bear to see the long history of our office slandered in this way by a newcomer. I demand a duel with her. It's like in Dang It uh, when, when it's like you're on one side of the duel and then they have to refute the other half of the people in V3. <laughs> Sonetto is an investigator with rich combat experience. <laughs> She'll fucking kick your ass and break your arm and leave you for dead. <laughs> oh, that kind of duel. She wanted he wanted to fight her. Oh, I thought she he meant like a like a like a verbal duel. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the special prosecutor turns to Sonetto. Do you accept the debate duel? Okay, it's a debate duel. I have no objection, madam. Now we're gonna argue with words. The defendant's neck has turned scarlet out of anger. Jeez, he's boiling. He's gonna pop like a volcano. The special prosecutor stands up and raises both of her arms. I will have order. Some of the giant meteor crushes them Please both. To the stage, duelists. The debate during your duel will be faithfully recorded. All right, cool. What are you gonna record it on? Three defeats in the debate of one side will end the duel. Oh shit. You have the floor now. I gotta get my truth bullets in order. Oh shit. Oh no, my th my third slot's locked. Why? I need my star people. Alright, cause they're gonna shine in the night sky. Where's Mr. Apple? Come here, buddy. Hmm. There will be uh. some differences. Mmm. Mmm. Bring Charlie, why not? Don't look at me. I'm not the one you saw on the wanted list. Why are you wanted? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a 1v1! Oh, dear! I have decades of historical materials of the office and know it better than anyone else. Oh my else. god, yeah, you got well, a little you bit louder. you in office for just... <laughs> three days? <laughs> three days! It took us three days to make what the potato you salad. What your testimony is more valuable than my materials? Damn, can you turn your voice down? Or you got into combat and you're like... <gasps> Boosting out the microphone. Whether the history is long or short, it does not affect the validity of the facts. Article 78 of the International Law of Procedure states, Any individual who has knowledge of the case and has an independent will is obliged to testify as witness. Yeah, that's right, get him. I shall prove the value of my testimony. Yeah, here's the value of my testimony. Take this and that. I'm gonna protect myself. <laughs> Please don't. Ha! Take that bitch. Hmm. I can do some of that, and then I'm gonna debuff you. For everyone. Beating. I'm just screeching my violin in his ears. Oh, now he's confused and silenced! You have no right to argue against me. I'm the attorney at law. You can never win. Stars. Wow. We decimated our opponent. Just kidding. He's February back. February 14th, 1929, after the storm. Hey, that's Valentine's Day. Half of the staff in the office were absent from work. They probably I learned died. That this was permitted by the director. They were required to sell alcohol in speakeasies at night to make a profit for the office. 
<laughs> and they were attacked and killed. No, they, by the humans. The malpractice at daytime was therefore tacitly approved. This can be found in photo appendix number 3-12-8. Is that the case that Bernard was fighting for or do, doing things with? <gasps> duh, duh. Slander. It's individual behavior of the employees who do not comply with the rules. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Your argument's invalid. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna get lots of violins, cause I doubt, I doubt, uh, what's her face, Voyager's gonna die. I'm way overpowered for this fight. Dip. Stars. And crush. Beating. Oh no. I'm gonna do... I could kill him. Yeah. Eh, just in case. Beating. Maybe I should have done that first so I wouldn't lose it. Oh, I didn't lose it. Good. Oh, now you brought in a man morning, with gun. An hour and a half before my encounter with Timekeeper, a procession appeared in the square in front of the office. They were mostly humans, with a few arcanists. They were protesting against the high registration fee charged by the office for registering their identity information. In addition, there was a racial brawl in the square, but the office did not send anyone to pacify the crowd or maintain the order. Oh, is that the one narrator Kuhn was talking about with the fire and shit? Do you have any evidence? God, can you back away from me? I in my diary. Does that count as evidence? Um. Yes. Can yes. you tell me which page it is on? Why is she so pale? That's what I want to know. Stars. It reminds me. Calling her pale reminds me of the one scene from the Sonic 06 uh, fan dub, where or Eggman was with Elise and. <laughs> He was like, and why are you so goddamn pale? Now get the fuck away from me and just push her away. <laughs> I don't know. I need to rewatch that. That was funny. Well, I guess I'll use my last card because I merged all of them into one unit. These are all insignificant glitches. No, you're a glitch. They call me the glitch. I'm glitching out your TVs. <laughs> to be honest, you can find similar problems in any large institution in the world. As long as we manage the office in a different way or change the staff, it would be improved. But you claimed that we violated the Declaration of Peace. This is pure slander. Gross defamation. Well, saying it's pure slander doesn't provide any I evidence. I not slandering the office. Schneider. <laughs> Schneider. You refuse to offer a human. No, an entire family, the shelter of the Foundation. You wouldn't take in her family? Yes. Great. Oh. Hmm. Schneider, a friend we met in Chicago. Yes, she did. She once chose to join the Foundation under the pressure of both the Storm and Manus Vindicte. But instead of offering any solution or help, you just gave her a rejection letter. You bitch, how dare you! Get this man, get him in the guts! I found this letter in her suit pocket. It had a small line written on it. Poppers, fuck off. Oh, she said it! She said the F word! I, I, I had completely no idea what this was about. Are you sure the defendant? Not to mention the fact that no one at the office had ever heard of the storm. What help could they offer? In this particular case, you should have reported to the headquarters or to the investigators out there instead of doing nothing but leaving an insult. Oh, shit. I do not understand why there was such wording on it. That's well, the angry. Was it because she did not pay enough shelter fee to qualify for sheltering? 
Or was it because the wand she used was transformed by Arcanum, which made you think she was an Arcanist? <gasps> Does not the Declaration of Peace say, Everyone strong or weak, rich or poor, of any race deserves a helping hand so that the existing peace and order shall be maintained. Oh, get him, girl! <sighs> yeah, oh, he's breathing now. He's violated the law. They were humans. If only they had made it to the headquarters sooner. Maybe they... Maybe they wouldn't have been erased by the storm. In the particular circumstance at present, it's impossible for the headquarters to take in humans from all over the world. But you bring out a possibility. A possibility better than anything that happened. Thank you very much for your testimony, Miss Sonetto. You're welcome. I think that was very powerful. Debate, Mr. Seth. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I guess thanks to Mr. Seth, whatever. <laughs> The special prosecutor and the jury get up, gathering the papers on the desk very loudly, I might add. Sonetto's eyes are gradually cooling off. <laughs> They're evaporating. Oh, ears! I, th I seem to be. No, it's like, I thought she was like tearing up. <laughs> yeah, you got very emotional. That's okay. Emotions have power! She passes the hallway feeling completely lost. She feels the court session is not over, and she is still in the middle of the storm. Miss Sonetto. What? The special prosecutor stops her from behind. You brought us a great debate. Thank you. And you brought us a bright face. In the bright daylight in the hallway, Sonetto finally takes a good look at the special prosecutor. I doubt you could see their facial features with this light in the hallway. This is quite an extraordinary face. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're gonna talk about why you're so goddamn pale. <laughs> White, hard, and his skin uh, texture different from any creature. Was she an android? What is she? Have you heard of the Supreme Court? D yes. You should come when you're free. Uh, I'd rather understand what you are. Maybe going to the Supreme Court will tell me what she is. Anyway, a star! The stars at night are bright and dim when they shine over dumb old stupid Texas. And hey, take deja vu. I just read that before. In the corner of the board, we're at the edge of the chessboard. Part 19, god damn. I thought they usually the chapters have like 16 ish parts, but this was like, oh, let's have 10 trillion parts. But I don't want to stop because I feel like we're close to the end. Yes, the filibuster is about to end. Z told me they are going to end the speech and apply for the official vote at noon. Okay, it's high noon. If you're going to continue with the debate, don't forget to send your men. Oh, uh, why does she need men? Is she gonna fight? Constantine doesn't reply. She glances at the delegates in the seats. Do you see Bernard over there? No. Where? Is that? They're empty. Yes. Are you going to kill Bernard? Quite a lot of his men attended today. They have remained uncommitted to storm reformation so far. I thought they wouldn't bother to attend. Well, we're swaying their vote. The opposition side doesn't need a dozen more votes to win, after all. But the advocates of the draft do. The chairwoman casts an eye on her. Next. Yet Constantine doesn't intend to explain. She likes leaving people in the dark. She looks wary. There will be a new draft given to you in two hours. I brought together a revision group last night with some hired experts. We have adjusted some of the articles in the previous draft. I will need you to present it to everyone when the time comes. No. What for? Is that draft going to be adopted? <sighs> Oh, well, yeah, uncertain. Look at your mouth quivering. The chairwoman looks ghastly. She can't help but ask again to confirm her suspicion. Oh, the draft is going to be adopted, isn't it? Oh, you're gonna lose, Constantine. There are things that even I cannot maneuver. 
Oh, that's a fancy way to spell maneuver. <laughs> is that how it's spelled? Uh, sure. All I can do is bring benefits to as many people as possible. Yeah, benefits that suit your needs. I have specifically made some amendments to the clearance to educate and discipline unregistered arcanists in section 3 on page 21. What you mean the, to well prevent them, the them from starting a war? What do you mean? That's fine. In section 1 on page 40. Every arcanist assigned to the timekeeper's department will be put through the foundation's risk assessment and graded accordingly. Ordinary arcanists only need to receive primary artificial somnambulism training. The more extraordinary ones will be sent to the School of Discipline for Re-Education. Well, that doesn't sound fair. Delegate Mark also submitted another edition, which was quite similar to this one. Is that so? Now, why do you look insane when saying that? She chuckles. It's a half relaxed, half bitter smile. <sighs> well, very well. I'm pleased we have reached a consensus even before we meet. Here are more things we have revised. Given their resistance to the storm, the Timekeeper's special team will take up more work related to Manus Vindicte. Mm hmm. The Foundation will utilize their abilities. I see. She sits down on the chair. It sounded like she just farted. We've also fine-tuned the details. They will be given more executive power while the Foundation retains control over all things. Remember, we have to make everyone aware of these changes before the voting starts. We have to make sure this version of the proposal this. is the one that capital T H I S. Don't forget it. Is that a traffic cone on the desk? What is that? A bullhorn, a bell. What is that? Understood. Maybe a pen. Whatever. The chairwoman looks up. Lights shed on the reading glass and give out a bluish white color. Good I for her. This is happening. Huh. The first revolution targeting arcanists in the past decades. Don't forget my stamps for this quarter, Constantine. Oh, Constantine's gotta get the stamps! You've lost! The right side of the hall is where the most eloquent people gather. The electrical... <laughs> the lecture area. <laughs> the electrical room. Everyone's gonna get shocked if they sit in that area. Madam Z stands on the podium. After the long speech that lasted for days, she feels herself physically struggling to go on. You haven't taken a break yet! It's like when I keep talking. I haven't breathed this whole time. I've been talking about my sense, about how you're not doing what you need to do, and you need to breathe, girl. But her mind's getting clearer and clearer, more and more excited. Every cell in her body is ready to wake up at the very moment the voting starts. She looks at the rostrum. Constantine is sitting next to the chairwoman calmly. Now we're gonna ruffle her feathers soon. That is a strange calmness. Oh, she's got a backup plan for the backup plan. So strange that she's almost certain that she's watching Constantine place a piece at the bottom right corner of the board. Why am I so tired that my eyes are failing me? No! Don't say that into the speaker! It's like when Spongebob was repeating everything Mr. Krabs was telling him into the microphone! No, it's not the time to relax. No, now's the time to tense up. It's like in a League of Legends match. It's like, oh, it's the beginning, whatever, but then at, at the 40 minute mark, I'm like, Aah! Just two more hours. Hang in there. It must be 10 p.m. a.m. <laughs> To be continued. Oh my god, something's gonna happen with this vote. Oh, there's a pussy A number six. Picnic on the lawn. Now's no time for picnics. The vote is happening. Oh, we're back with the squad. Yes. Roast leg of lamb. Wellington steak. Bro, you're not in Chef Ramsay's kitchen. Turkish kebab. Uh-uh, you got none of that. Oh, I want me. You can't have me. Do you get Dr. Pepper and gummy bears and potatoes? Mm, are you hungry? Worry not, worry not. The leaves of the potatoes we planted have turned yellow. Yippee! That means they're ready. Miss Druvis said this is the harvest time. Let's dig them out and make shepherd's pie. Doesn't that have meat in it? What meat are we gonna use? 
potato? Vegetable? No, I don't want them anymore. You have to ration what you have. You can't be greedy. I've been eating healthy salads for a month. Has it been four weeks already? I want meat. Well, the only meat here is human bodies. I want rich, juicy, meaty, sinewy, savory, sizzling meat. There's none. They can't have that. Regular suddenly springs to her feet. Wait. It smells so good. Um. That's meat. It looks like there's a fog coming behind you. Maybe someone's roasting a squirrel? Where's that smell coming Is from? Is this hallucinogenics? Mm, I do smell something good as well. What is it? Sunlippy stands on tiptoe again, seeking the source of the incredible smell. I'll take a look. No, no, it's a trick. It's gonna lure you over there and then kill you. Regulus rubs her stomach, grabs her bag, and dashes out. No! It's gonna split Don't you Regulus. up! The critter's lair is over there! They're emanating a spell to lure you over there! Get over Critters. here! <laughs> no worries. Critter is a type of meat. Oh my god, you're insane. Square mill is here. <sighs> Smells okay. so good. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a good time, Regulus. It's over here! Those are some intense sniffs. She has gone. <laughs> She's left the plane of existence. Oh no. What can I do? Uh go help her. Um My father said some critters could cause hallucination and diarrhea if eaten. Oh no! She's gonna get big poopy if she consumes critter! What's going on, Miss Sotheby? Uh, Why are you here walking around alone? Uh, 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 Regulus is gonna get diarrhea. <laughs> Apple floats in the air and looks at them. Uh, he does that every time, but I'm glad it's text to confirm that. Um, where is Captain? Um. Oh, good to see you here. Answer the question! Regulus said she smelled meat and went straight to the forest to catch critters. <sighs> Waffle. So true, bestie. It has been too long since we last had Dr. Pepper. Does Captain finally start to have a senior moment? Yeah. <laughs> She's going crazy. Let's hurry over and take a look. She needs her caffeine. The she needs her meat. It's unusual. It's verdant over there. There may well be other dangers lurking somewhere. Like, like giant worms. Like Constantine. Regus' figure appears among the trees. The aroma of food has also become more intense. This is weird. Where on earth does the smell come from? I don't know. Regulus is also looking for the answer to the same question. She looks down, scrabbling in the weeds. As she goes through the... The weeds unexpectedly shake, uh, out of which springs a black shadow. <gasps> don't, don't, don't consume it! You'll shift your pants! Regulus, it's not edible! Don't take a chunk out of it! There comes another one. Oh, now you're surrounded! <laughs> one after another until Regulus has an R full of angry carbuncles. That's the layer of carbuncles. They've been stirred up. What, why Why is the layer just form in your trees now? Whoa, a bumper harvest of critters! Oh no, you can't have a Help. bumper harvest! Hold on, Captain. We're coming! <laughs> I don't know why that was cute of him to say. <laughs> Just as what's been practiced countless times. Uh, yeah, it's been practiced. Excellent. Get ready to Oops, I didn't mean to press that. Oh, well, it's just going. <laughs> Am I gonna stop it? Goodbye. Hmm. Do I want to? Nope. Be careful, young man. Oh, I can't agree more. For everything. rainbow. Goodbye. The 
affirmative. Stop. Oh god! It's so warm in here. But alas. A ravishing rainbow. Oh, he's got a little fence! Oh, he's so cute! I think we get that now, he's gonna get crushed by a big triangle. Be careful, young man. Let the show begin for everyone. Ye provoked me! Ye provoked me! That line gets me every time. I don't know why it's so funny. Malaput, this shall be my only wow, I think we're gonna win. Thy ending is destined. For everyone. Oh, you could use an attack spell. Come on, auto what? battle. <laughs> there we we'll go. Say all colors. Great. Well, we did it. Okay, so much money that I need. My my amount of sharp needs is low. <laughs> are they really all inedible? Yes, they are. <sighs> I did smell the sizzling meat. Well, they hallucinations. Oh, it's somewhere around here, right around. Oh, hi. Oh, are you cooking meat out here? Are you a friend? No, <gasps> oh, she's so scary. Who are you? An athletic figure shows up from behind the bushes. Lilia? You know her? What are you doing here? Lilia throws her bag at their feet. A roasted leg of lamb wrapped in tin foil falls from her bag. Why? Okay, well, you just have that. I got you something good. Oh, thank you. Why? What do you want from us? Oh shit, vodka! And some bread? What the fuck is that? It looks like yogurt and some barbed wire, my favorite delicacy. Roasted pork knuckle, farmer sausage, black forest ham, some unknown drinks, lebo bread, lebo bread, and lebo bread. Lots of lebo bread. Regulus pulls out the lamb and quick, as quickly as a flash and devours the meat. Bro! You, didn't, you don't know if it's like laced with something. You don't know what she did to it. Uh, lamb, it tastes so good. So good. I barely know what grease is supposed to taste like. <laughs> You're very excited about that lamb. Thank the great god of rock for his blessings. Oh, this pirate finally gets some meat to eat! I'm glad you're happy. Huh. It is me you should thank, the goddess of victory, who soon brings you freedom. Are you on our side now? Bring us freedom soon. May I ask, how should I interpret your words? <laughs> <laughs> what? Lilia sits down on the ground. Why? Why are you over here? She opens one of the cans and pours a drink into her mouth. Uh-oh, she getting crunk. You want some? No, what is it? Drumas takes a drink from her and takes a sip. Ah, oh, raw vodka. Thank you so much for coming alone and providing us with supplies, Lilia. When did y'all plan this? However, please tell us why you were here. Did Madame Z send you? Lilia shakes her head. She gives out four fingers. What is that supposed to mean? Already been four and a half weeks, right? Yes, it has actually, I guess. This is not the first time I visit you guys here. Alright, oh, well, really? <laughs> When's the next time? The one hiding in the shadow last time? Oh! Oh, that's what that meant. I should have known. How much longer you can hold on for Vertin. You see, saying is one thing. Fighting is another. Yeah, well, we fought you in the past. I've seen many deserters. Way too many. Crying out loud, peeing their pants, drooling all over on their rabbit foot. <laughs> but you guys are different. <laughs> we stick it out to the man. What? <laughs> is that what I meant? <laughs> we stick it out to the end. I guess we're sticking it to the man as well. We well. did it. You conquered places in the foundation, defended your own places and put pressure on those in white till this day. 
the last day in this four weeks and a half. We did it! That's the Stalnaya Volia I appreciate. Uh, the iron. If I didn't come today, would you eat your boots tomorrow? No, we're not Gale. Of course not. That's from Baldur's Gate. Potatoes, almost ripe. And carrots. I thought you had tomatoes. <laughs> what? What's wrong with carrots? Why are you laughing at our you. carrots? We're farming over here. Can I take it that you were coming to bring us the good news. No, I'm here to bring you bad news. Actually, is there a final result for Madame Z's draft? So far as I know, Madame Z hasn't given up yet. She was uh, saying a speech for days on Just end. Just like you. When she gets serious, she looks like a fierce doe. But I already lost my patience. <laughs> like, after the first two hours I was out. Tons of processes need to be done before it can be performed. Even if the draft is passed at the final vote. <sighs> as long as Burton is still on that bed in the ward, you're just an isolated island. We gotta infiltrate and go get her. Everyone can step on you. Oh, well. Lilia stands up and pats off the dust on her carelessly. Take care of them for me when necessary. That's what Vertin said when she gave me the vodka. <gasps> oh! It's time to deliver on my promise. God damn! Are you going to do something dangerous? <laughs> yes, <laughs> danger is like her middle name. A thing that is worth the risk. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Someone needs to wake up from the dream. <laughs> and uh, and, and uh, Bertha needs to wake up. Okay, I, I looked up how many uh, stages are left, and there's three three more stages after this. So we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Wow, I gotta find a spotlight. To, oh, it's right the here. The story has come to a new stage. It sure has. It's fascinating. It has plots. Uh, they're building up for something, and you know something bad's gonna happen. Death. You just and know it. I'm gonna skip this guy. I'm sorry. The storm. Oh, is the storm coming? The storm. No longer something everyone else. knows Once about the storm. The uh, who are they? The Actors. They're, they're a bunch of, a bunch of people. They from the same they from the Pop Pop and the French branch. Oh, right. Where did he go? Good question. Now you help me find Let's him. Help around. me find Man Face. Who are we looking the white for? Umbrella is a shelter from the rain, saving that orange haired girl in white for you. Oh, thank you. And you like your little friends and Ken. Oh, Ken. Remember the differences I just made. No, I wasn't paying attention to you. A great, your ugly trunk. Oh, thank you. A mixture of your mental issues. Damn. Miserable past would burst out in the next second, making everyone's heart twitch. My heart is twitching. But think otherwise. If the truth were known to all... Oh, he's gonna eat his shoes, damn! Just like a gale would eat an artifact. Any, so they made them up. Now, should they all try to raise... What the about their feelings? Their feelings... Law, oh, maybe, I don't know what that is. To until you're that's okay okay i don't care actually you, you very have a nice voice and dumb friend. well thanks for calling me dumb i appreciate that this is why i don't want to talk to you sometimes because you're just mean to me you say i have issues you call me dumb and i don't appreciate that i'm laying on a bed and i didn't know good weather all right let's go What kind of weather? Sunny? Cloudy? Cloudy's a good weather. Oh. Hey, Mesmer. Final round of the vote. Watching on the telly, vote. are we? Please hurry up. Why? Well, there's One a little draft. I can't read what that says. What am I looking at? Please be I do like her earrings. They're like round. ornaments. Wake up, Arden! You're gonna win! The draft advocates have more votes now, but they still need more than that to meet the super majoritarian requirement. Oh my god. What? It's neck and neck! Please vote now. 30 seconds to go. 
Final countdown. Oh, it's uh, close. No, wait. We're yay. It's uh, 32. We're gonna win, and our and the win is gonna wake her up. This will be your last chance to vote. Please hurry up. You have like two seconds. Do it now. Three, two, one. We won. Storm reformation, manpower and discipline. We won. Yeah. In your face, we broke the glass. Fucking oh shit! Huh. The glass is not as hard as I thought. God damn! Yeah, plug that shit. Get hey, her out of there. To wake up, Virtin. Good morning. You won. Damn. What's that sound? What's going on? Uh, but no, 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 what? Nothing, nothing. No one just broke the glass and came in. Damn, that was cool. <laughs> oh. That was a quick oh, reaction. Yeah. <laughs> oh, welcome, King Gilgamesh. Oh, let me. Oh, oh damn, I found you at the climax of the story. You sure did. Things are getting intense. <laughs> welcome. How are you what doing today? <laughs> Oh, uh, as Virginia crouches next to the stool, rubbing her hands immensely. The staff are putting on a well-designed helmet as they come in. Everyone, this, they're gonna protect them from the glass. Every oh, why am I reading the kids' guards' dialogue? No, she's gonna kick your butt, man. <laughs> this is the best chapter and best part. Oh yeah, this chapter's been really good so far. A lot of politics, but oh, but it's all coming together. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good finishing your dailies. I I'd have it. I have I need to do my my fucking thingies. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Oh, who's that handsome fellow? Wait, he's in a space suit? Hold on. <laughs> when did I break I don't remember selecting my people. Oops. Oh well, we're got rolling with this. <laughs> Begin. I can't agree more. For everyone. We're just gonna oonga boonga through this. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Huh. Oh, well, that's a nice snap. Oh. There's two rounds, and you remember there's two waves. I always forget that the. Be careful. Oh, Pinball. I got confused with round out of 25. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not a wave. That's not a round. Ooh. <laughs> What are you doing in there? In where? In the in here? I don't know. I am unga boonga. <laughs> I'm attacking the spaceman. <laughs> oh, what's happening? Oh, 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 hold on. <laughs> Bring it on! Let me have my dear long lost real fight. Why were there no subtitles on that? <laughs> Are we fighting in her brain? What's happening? Oh! This is the main boss. Oh! Oh! Oh my! Oh! Oh! Ah, attack the hands to put up hibernation and attack hands with the cord. And, and yeah. I like the swirly brain. The bosses are so cool and interesting! Oh! <laughs> and I did get Voyager, yes. I was trying to get Pickles, but I ended up getting her instead, so... A blessing in disguise! <laughs> I, and I just love... Like, like, weird monsters, weird amalgamations like this. It's like... It's so surreal. But it makes sense, like, this is the, the, the brain and the arms and the, the legs are falling apart into a goopy mess. Oh, this is so good! <laughs> yeah, why that? Stars. And the transition between the previous stage into this one? Oh! So and good. The, the design is the just away. the the graphics. Wow, big big wow. 
I cannot work today. My brain is full of leakage, just like how this guy is leaking all over the floor. <laughs> We boop 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 boop. Uh, you can do that, I guess. I I'm sure, more. why not? I'm. <laughs> I believe in you. I know the moon. I could have saved that. Am I attacking the right thing? I don't even know what I'm attacking. <laughs> I'm a paying attention, but he's dying though. <laughs> Destroy the arms and core first, otherwise the main body will gain another bar of full health. Oh! Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, okay, I gotta get rid of the arms. And the core is the diamond thing. Oh, oh, I see, I see. You know, I read that in the thingy, but it didn't click with my brain. I'm... <laughs> it's one of those days, thank you for the tip. <laughs> <sighs> the variety of characters are too overpowered anyway, you can kill them two times. <laughs> yeah, I, I I grinded so much and built my characters. They're ready for Insight level 3, but I don't have like the fancy materials yet, but I need to do the story to like unlock the, the part in the wilderness to do so, so um... <laughs> world I have never seen before. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> I know the moon, and this is an alien city for everyone. Like, I was trying to do all the hard right. things before I did the easier things. <laughs> like the... Oh god, what's it called? The artificial symb symbiosis, whatever it is. <laughs> Like the dream sequence area. I'm like trying to oonga boonga through that. Oh shit, that was a cool attack. I love the colors. It's fine, he can have full health. I'll let him have his moment because he's so cool. <laughs> this was a tactical tactic made by me. <laughs> I just need to work on everybody's resonance because they're kind of low, but. Illusion is enough. I needed more doodads. Or we'll say all colors. Oh. That's my favorite attack. It's so colorful, so cool. <laughs> Happened to be the first time I realized, second time I had to destroy the arms and core first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me with every instructions. I learn by doing. They can present all the words they want to me, but whether I absorb them or not is a 50% chance of that happening. More like a 37, actually. And that looks like a big saw in the back. Oh, he's dead. I was looking at all the background things. Oh, the Lord of Dream Matrix. Wow, we defeated the Matrix! Thank you! <laughs> and I got my planet thingy so I can level up my wilderness and get more cash monies. Yippee! Wow, we made a mess. <laughs> we escaped the Matrix! Ignore all the people screaming in the background! Yippee! <laughs> Emergency! Room 1525, calling for backup! No, we'll beat you. <laughs> Lilia whisks away his walkie-talkie. That's hers now. You can't have it. Hey, no backup. I need to strictly follow the damage control standards. Yeah, do that. <laughs> oh, good morning, Burton. It's weird seeing her without her hat on. Where's her hat? She needs that. Lilia? Yeah, w welcome back. W good morning. Well, it's Bye like noon Lilia. now. Nice. Time for us to leave. Lilia and Madam Z were the MVPs of this chapter. Absolutely. Like towards the beginning, I was like, I wasn't sure if Madam Z was on our side or the evil side, but now we know for sure that she she's a queen. Come here and sit on the broom. <gasps> yes, behind me. Oh, we're gonna Grab fly it. on the broomstick. Don't say I didn't warn you if you fall down and die. No, uh, well. <laughs> Like, good morning, and you're probably still drowsy. Get on this broom. We're gonna be flying high in the air. Don't die, actually. <laughs> she looks so tired. 
Neither the mind nor body are, is responding to her call. Uh, me, right now? <laughs> no reaction can be giveth to what is happening. She only knows to grab the handrail tightly. What handrail? This one? <laughs> The metal handrail feels cold and hard. Wow, I would hope so. <laughs> it would be concerning if it was warm and liquefied. Right, Red 38, let's go! Yippee, we're flying! A strong shake. Mesmer Jr. Mesmer Jr., uh, what are you doing? Yeah, I was wondering You're the same away. thing. What was no, she doing during them. this? She's just watching everything f unfold before her eyes. They are mad people. No, they're brave people. Cool people. Unlike you. Save your whining for Constantine. Oh, yeah, you're gonna have to deal with Egghead. The broom rise in the air and it sounded like a motorcycle. <laughs> Unlike you. <laughs> oh god, I didn't read that. I don't like when the text just starts going for no reason, but it's fine. The cloudiness and sunny day outside. Wow, good weather. Oh, now I get to click. You get to see the sun after a month. Oh, good weather. My friends. Yeah, go into the tree fort. That seems like a good idea. To be continued. We got two more stages left and then we'll be completely caught up with the main story. Oh, a star! An article about absentee ballot. A grim gray wow. <laughs> yeah. I looked it up and it said 23. Returning birds. I love birds, especially the ones that look like birds. Um, what the hell did that mean? I don't know. But we're reuniting. We're the birds because we're flying on the broom. And birds fly on brooms How when they do don't want to fly. Oh, shit. Getting used to the light? Oh, this is the last one? Google lied to me. <laughs> the wind feels so good. I love the feel of wind. This is just an appetizer. I'll be gentle since you're just discharged. Yeah, please. Oh, there's the birds! Oh, wow. Right. Oh, Good she doesn't have you. her shoes on. They stayed up all night just to save you. We did it. Nothing <gasps> bad will ever happen again. <laughs> I'm still waiting for Man something bad to happen, you. actually. <laughs> From the bill and the protesting, to countless debates, planning, and... Everyone is holding their umbrellas for you, Burton. Oh, shit. We love umbrellas. The storm. It will pass. One day. Um, it better not just show up immediately and wipe us all out. Uh <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. You're welcome. Yes. Everything is going to be alright. I sure hope so. Enough flying. Time to head back. Where are we going? What are we doing next? Hmm. No idea. Meet your friends first? Oh, that might be a good idea. Everyone's probably Life worried. With your comrade in arms. Fear no danger ahead. Oh, her broom sticks a big I'm missile! I'm just noticing that! Kind of looks like a dolphin from the front. Wow! The there they go! Oh, that was a nice scene. Nice and peaceful before something bad happens and the forest gets burned out or someone explodes. How are you feeling? Better now? <coughs> it, it, it's killing me. Oh no, did you choke on the lamb leg? His water. Captain, sip, please. Don't put too much pressure on your esophagus. What the hell is happening down here? <laughs> <sighs> this apple told you not to swallow leber in haste. What's leber? Leber bread? Oh god, that was a disgusting slurp. Please never do that again in my ear. <laughs> yeah, get it all out. I'm... I'm alive. Oh, you probably choked on the bread. And it had expanded in your esophagus. Oh. I thought I wouldn't be able to see the sun tomorrow. 
Oh, see Vertin discharged. Well, <laughs> that would have been unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, why, why are the level bred here? Because Lilia... <laughs> He's walking up to her, we're still days from getting out of there. He's like, oh, it's level bread. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, hug! I need a CG of everybody hugging, please. Mix feelings turn into tears running out of her eyes. Is it out of shock or ex ex the? So many struggles, days and nights. Oh, wait for it! It's coming! Oh! <laughs> excited this is the finish line of desperation ahead of them hope awaits we have overcome despair oh, Vertin, you silly git wow <laughs> now you come back oh yeah you didn't infiltrate the foundation area lily i had to do that oh <laughs> there it is Yes, Mr. Apple! Burden. Oh, Lilia's having a drink of her vodka. Burden! Oh. oh. <laughs> this is such a nice oh. scene. I'm crying. Are you feeling okay? There was a lot of equipment connected to you. Do yeah, you we just like ripped that out and got, got on a broom. No big deal. Do you need any nutritional supplements, Miss Verton? Yeah, get her some have bread! A lot of healthy fresh salads here. Where did you come back from? What are all these white pigeons doing after you? Oh, you know, it's my army of pigeons. We're gonna go attack egg-headed Constantine with the pigeons. You seem to have gained weight! No, 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 lost weight! Oh, no. Oh, everyone's so happy! Fit as a fiddle. Oh, we're playing fiddles now! Just a headache, nothing else. Oh. Good to you see need you. some aspirin. Thank you for being here. Being around me. Oh, you can't see it, but I am smiling. <laughs> my my robotic exterior does not allow smiling, but I am. Trust. Oh, I didn't read that. Of she course. wiped her tears on her coat or something. Of course we... We're waiting for you. They waited four and a half weeks. You're the only friend we have in this world oh although the way all, all the waiting has been worthwhile this reunion is well deserved in the meantime footsteps could come from the distance oh no oh no it's the bad thing's gonna happen now footsteps of well-trained strong soldiers no no get away from them they have a nice reunion you're not welcome it's our bread you can't have it Welcome back. Oh, Doctor. thank you, Egghead. <laughs> Can't get an excuse myself for have to see the control freak Constantine. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. <laughs> and thank you for stopping by if you are indeed leaving. <laughs> oh, figure it, white robe emerges from the woods. I'm gonna slap Constantine on her feckin' egg face. We have good news to share. Yeah, the good news of you coming to take control of the situation and being an asshole. <laughs> Next to her stands Senato, Madame Z, and some unfamiliar faces. Hold on. The moment their eyes meet in the air, Senato opens her mouth, but she eventually doesn't speak a word. Oh, you're not in your other uh, uniform. What are you doing? Are you on Constantine's side? You better not be. I'm gonna kick your butt if you are. <laughs> are you just happy to see me? This is good. This is great. What do you mean? May I ask what good news? The passage of the bill, storm reformation, manpower and discipline. That's what we wanted, right? We wanted this bill to pass, and that's a good thing. That's what it's been hyping up about, that it being a good thing. Once it's approved by the PAC Security Council, it will become law. Okay. Your friends and you will enjoy more autonomy and a life with even fewer restrictions. Well, that's that sounds all nice and dandy, but let's look in the fine lines. You will also have a more respectable status in the Foundation. Uh -huh. She just blinks at her. With more details. 
<laughs> yeah, Madam Z. Thank you for telling me this. Lilia has been quiet by their side the whole time, suddenly speaks up. What about the treatment? Treatment? What do you... What, what? Why are you confused? Didn't it finish just now? Um, well, by force. <laughs> this treatment has an investigative purpose, and the timekeeper has passed the examination as a safe, low-risk individual. As Ms. Z has said, Ms. Verton is strong enough to be the timekeeper. <laughs> However, you will receive punishments for the damage to public property. Oh. I suggest you heed it as a warning. No, we didn't damage anything. It was the trees that did it. Are you gonna punish the trees? Oh, she's even rolling her eyes. Constantine waves. The to oh public damage of breaking the glass. Oh. Constantine waves to the crowd. The rest of them are about to leave. We should say our goodbye. Please rest well. Um, what does that mean? What are you gonna do? She said, "What well, that sound like a oh, an, oh, it's a dove." She suddenly notices a white dove in the tree and stops. Don't you dare extend your neck and eat that bird! I will cry. Hmm. Seems like the dove of the white marble house is paying you a visit. Um, the, the White House has doves that are spies. The doves are spies. What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing peculiar. Explain yourself. It just means you have come to their notice. What the doves or the government? What the fuck do you mean, bitch? I was about to say, if that was the last chapter, I would have. Oh, that's a nice puppy. I don't want to read the song of a puppy. Old days once more. Okay, this should be the last chapter. Perhaps whipping cream only belongs to the past. Yeah, we don't talk about whipped cream anymore. Old days once more. Let's go! This is the end. Everything has been settled. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Time flows by like water flows over a per 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 perfectly flat plane. Yes. That's right. Hmm. I got it. What, what'd you get? Tomorrow. What'd you get, girl? Madden Z returns to her office as usual. What happened? What happened with the birds? But this time, the secretary who is always fully engages in the daily agenda looks up to her. Please wait, Madam Z. What, Sharon? What do you want? She passes her a box. Is there a bird inside? Is it going to be dead? Oh, no. Madam Constantine asked me to give this to you. Oh, no. It's going to be a dead bird, ain't it? Did she say why? No. She didn't explain it. Sharon quickly goes through her head. What does that mean? She like inverting herself and looking inside her head the way it's like SpongeBob rolled its eyes backwards to see plankton inside his brain controlling it. Wait, I think she mentioned it's September 11 in the Chinese calendar today. Um, is that significant? I know September 11th, but I don't know about the Chinese calendar. I see. Please send my thanks to her. Okay. Sharon nods and quietly resumes, returns to her seat. I'm scared. I don't know. Everything seems calm and peaceful. What's happening? Mamsie looks at the box. A faint smell of red sandalwood wafts in the air. What? No. Upset of brand new go. Oh, it wasn't Othello. <laughs> Oops. Gift cards attached. Oh, this is like a declaration of war between the Go players. I'm glad to witness your progress. I don't trust you. <laughs> Madam Z closes the box calmly and puts it in her pocket. She's gonna burn that later. She opens the door and walks into her office. Is, is Constantine gonna be in there? Okay, no. Whew. 
She looks around. No sign of egg, bitch. This is just an ordinary room. Normal but practical. There are regulations, documents, epidemic journals, and calendars and agendas and old photos placed next to the mirror. She sees herself in that mirror because the mirror never lies. Oh, you look so cute today. Wow. <laughs> are you braiding your hair? Wow. The face in the mirror is more like a, ma a more mature than the young girl in the old photo. Will a doe become a tigress? Oh, that's the name of the chapter. Oh, is that what that means? El Oro de los t Tigres. <laughs> she runs her hand through her hair. It doesn't seem too long ago that she had a braid on her to her shoulder. She combs her hair and splits it into three strands. That's how you make a braid. Lay the leftmost strand on the top while the rightmost go across and the right goes on the top to the left and the cross to the tie it up. The braid bristles like an awkward sheep tail. <laughs> I'm glad you're, you're enjoying your hair. She opens the refrigerator and takes out a plain cake under the cold light. With a tight pull, the lamp turns off. Oh no, it's the cake a bomb. The room quiets down again. Either somebody turned the light off or she's a freak that likes to consume cake in the dark. I don't know those footsteps. Don't you dare shoot her. Oh, I thought somebody stabbed her. That's just the light flickering on. <laughs> Oh, it's your birthday! Oh, is that, that- that must be Chinese then! The end. Um. Wow. <laughs> that was an extremely interesting way to end the chapter with, with Madam Z singing happy birthday to herself alone in the dark. Honestly, that's a power move. I'll, I'm all for it. <laughs> wow. Well, we finished the whole chapter. That took like... Four hours. This 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 particular part of the stream was like three hours, but because I my my power went off, it was like how long was the other one? I don't remember. Oh well, it's not gonna tell me until I look at something else. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Anyway, I was there like a four and a half hours to complete it. Maybe. Something like that. Anyway, the point is we finished it. Oh, look at her. Have a good kick in the loom by herself. Well, I'll do hard mode on my own time. <laughs> then I can finish off my, my present box. Oh, I can upgrade my wilderness. That's right. Move. <laughs> Get out of here. Upgrade the hall. Expand. Okay, and I have enough doodads. Yes, I want to level that up. So now I can upgrade my my towers and shit. Oh, I got Starfell Valley. Wow. What's my next task? Level five. Well, I get the I get the last piece by doing hard mode. So hmm. I'll do that later. Wow. What a chapter. That was a good chapter. It started off like a little bit slow, but it was like getting our bearings, preparing us for politics and the trial and the reunition. The reunition, the reuniting of all the characters at the end was very nice until Constantine shoved their big fat egghead and ruined everything. Oh, I wonder what, what's gonna happen to them now. I guess we have to wait for chapter five, which I, I'll do. I'll, I'll play chapter five when it comes out. And we'll get the 1.3 update when, it, when it's the 18th, so I'm excited for that. New characters, new game modes, new thingies, new characters. Very excited. So we shall end it for today. 
uh, thank you to everyone who came to watch. And thank, thank you for the chatters. This was really fun. Peter. Andrea. Mm. What's Andrea today? Today is Friday. Trinca. I'll be back Sunday. Awake. I'm thinking different. of maybe Not some ultimate custom Andrea. night. Got to continue learning how people work and then we can jump into the 50-20 mode and start doing fun things in there, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about. Somebody might want to do something, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when it cometh to it. So, again, thank you to all who came to watch, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!